roll out. Here we go. I like it. Here we go. Pre cum roll out. Ah, uh, yeah. Roll out. Get your ass up. Roll out. Out the bed. Roll out. Get your ass up. Roll out. Out your mama house. Roll out. Roll out. You fucking it up. Roll out. Get your ass up. Roll out. Do this shit the right way. But we on the west side. side. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 95 degrees today, bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Put that in your pipe and It's hotter than two pit bull puppies fucking in a kangaroo pouch. What? Whoa. Knows how to party. Just roll with that wood. California. That's how you start a day. Knows how to party. They party all over me. In the city. In the city. City of Lompoc. Hey, hey, in the city. City of Goleta. You know, suburban Santa Barbara. I know where that is. I know where that is. For Michael Jackson. City, city of Compton. Compton. He lived in Compton, too. We keep it rocking. Yeah. We keep it rocking. Go ahead, Speedy. Come on. Spirit well, let me welcome everybody to the Wild Wild West in the morning. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, you got to take your glasses off now. Hey, watch your motherfucking tone. On the rollout <laughs> show is cracking. I don't know. On the rollout show is cracking. Hilarious. In the city and city. all of his friends. <laughs> In the city. No, Mark. City of Kenesha. Hey. Fox O Radio. <laughs> Serious 96. It's the rollout show. Four hours of the funniest part of your life. What you do with the other 20 is your business. Life or day? How about the funniest four hours of your <laughs> life? You keep changing it, doesn't it? Yeah, you <laughs> keep changing it. Hi, well, it's four hours of your life? That's it? <laughs> Maybe your whole we... life? <laughs> is it? The it? Four hours <laughs> of your it's life. The, funny four, the funniest four hours of your day. Hmm? Thank you. You've been having um, mumble demons the past couple of days. Let me pray about it. You know it. what it is? What? He ain't eating junk food and sugar and shit. So oh. <laughs> the health food don't know. He don't know how to talk well. <laughs> my body my, shuts down I without myself sugar. Weighed myself again yesterday at the gym. Yeah. Even the past couple of days. Let me pray. About you know it. what it is? What? He ain't eating junk food and sugar and shit. So oh. <laughs> the health food don't know. He don't know how to talk well. <laughs> my body my, shuts down without sugar. I weighed myself again yesterday at the gym. Yeah. Lost three pounds. Hey. hey. And you're going to eat it right you back to the <laughs> I want this shit so bad. Hey, Speedy, do you know you got to put both feet on the scale, right? <laughs> <laughs> How is your wonder tummy always against you? <laughs> These tummies ain't loyal. <laughs> <laughs> Does Obamacare cover lipo liposuction? Well, mute this early, huh? Yeah, How you yeah. get it muted two, <laughs> two, two minutes, minutes in? We're going to start doing that. We're going to count how far in he gets his mutes. Yeah, this two minutes. He should have be been muted that's, in the intro. He's yeah. been talking all over the no, so, That's what, a record. You don't know how to just let it happen, dude. She didn't, she didn't want me muted when I said City of Kenesha. She loved that then. Well, we didn't know where you were going. We yeah, had to we let you nervous. just play it out. Sit back and let it happen. We was let nervous. It happen. <laughs> let it happen, baby. Let it happen. He was nervous purpose. <laughs> what is a nervous purpose? Nervous purpose. Nervous purpose? It just rhymes. That sounds like a nervous pervert. You're about to get caught. It's yeah. Speedy and Friends, and I'll be Speedy. Up in this. Biatch. Pew, 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 pew. The most pew. beautiful women in the world. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. And then y'all. Look at her. Oh. <laughs> the Pium sisters. <laughs> in the building all the way from Washington, D.C. Yes. Chocolate City. So I heard Mark out there talking to the fireman. He was like, you know, I'm not even really supposed to be here because I just said, you know, I'm not supposed to be here, but I'm coming anyway. I said, damn, Mark, Mark baby, baby, don't give, give a fuck. fuck. That ain't true. Mark, baby, don't give a fuck. Yes, I do. Mark, baby, don't give a fuck. That ain't true. Mark, baby, don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Mark, baby, don't. Mark, baby, don't. Mark, baby, don't give a fuck. When I gave a fuck yesterday. <laughs> That's harmonized so well. Hey. We have good ears. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, big ups to everybody that texts me with sympathy. <laughs> oh my goodness, hit me like, nigga, y'all guys. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what we do, man. Who would you get a bunch of texts from, Marquise uh, York? Yeah. <laughs> well, you shouted him out now. Who? <laughs> I know, right? Marquise. <gasps> yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Marquise. Yes, yeah, it's sure. good. And good night for the last couple of days. <laughs> 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 
He's hit me with good night like he's in the bed with me. <laughs> good night, bro. Did bro. you sell him back a smiley face? <laughs> Look, right, right when you think you're going to go to sleep, you get a text. Oh, good night. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> the funny thing is I'm scared to unfriend him. He might say, so you unfriend me? <laughs> yeah, that's you bad. friended him? Bad news. Y'all didn't tell me. Y'all didn't Mark, tell me, man. Mark don't yes, have did. no friends. Y'all said he was a nice. No, he, he is a nice guy. He is a nice guy, nice guy. but you friended him. Like, we, hey, hey, look, we you love you, follow. man. I, I, I ain't got a problem with the attention, man. It just, <laughs> yes, he just had a random shit. So why am I laying in my bed crying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a multiple choice answer? <laughs> 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 if I'm supposed to figure it out, I'm not there. I'm going to check box four. <laughs> Mark has come back from that mute like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all, oh, y'all brought it up. I was like, are we going there with that? Okay, all right, well, in the building. Oh, shit. Hey, let me say before we go to uh, Big Ups, today's my mom's birthday, man. Oh, happy, oh, happy birthday, birthday. Happy birthday, birthday mom. mom. Miss you, mama. She'd have been 85. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. My parents had me late, dude. You think? My dad, my dad would have been 97. <laughs> what? Oh. Yes, sir. Wait, how old are you? 22. Younger than that. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in the... Uh, Nursing facility. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Somebody gonna burp this baby? <laughs> my like parents had me late, too. <laughs> yeah, my parents had me late, too. Man. I understand that. You can't do shit with old parents. My mom had me at 21 when she got out of college. I always asked her mom. She says, I would have been something if I would have never got pregnant. And it took me a minute. I said, wait, I was your first child. And she didn't say shit else. <laughs> Now, my mom used to say, oh. I know what your problem is. You wasn't raised right. I said, well, whose fault is that? <laughs> she used to say that for real. That's <laughs> uh, your fault. I, I met Mark's mom. Yes. Yeah. When she came out here. He met everybody's mom. Can we meet at the rest of the cast? <laughs> oh. oh. You know what it is. Is that God? Just a little trigger finger. It'd be on the buttons. And he, I can't move it. <laughs> I think I did this one time. We, we hadn't got to the next person. He was like, <laughs> Go to the next one. <laughs> well, that was a in comeback. Can we meet the rest of the cast? Yes. I like that. In the building, all the way from New York City, Brooklyn to be exact. Mm-hmm. Show your love for Lourdes Gonzalez, the Panamanian bombshell, Brooklyn stand up. <laughs> Represent. Yeah. Brooklyn, we go hard, we go hard. 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 B R O O K L Y N. Come again. B R O O K L Y N. Come again. This is Black Hoodie Rap. I love you, ho. Every time she do that, I get so excited. <laughs> that nigga's a genius. She only, brought, she only used one hand. Have you, have she, you ever met him? No. I've yeah. seen him. I I don't know what I'll do if I meet him. I met him when uh, Fox hosted for the the year Michael Jackson died and uh, and her, him and, and, and Wetchcomb was on the show. And so she was doing uh, a song, but you couldn't go. You can't walk up to Beyonce. Oh, of course not. It's not going to No, sir. Not even counting security guards, you just it this ain't gonna happen. Yeah. And on top of that, Hove is like right there. Mm-hmm. And so you'll see Hove and I they introduce. And so I said, Yeah, how you doing? He was like, Yo, was, you know, you know, he give you the little head, but you know, everything you mm-hmm. at the phone, he doing this, and then security give you the bump to move you out the way. So it's like the president, huh? Yeah. They, they, <sighs> They, they're royalty of in the course, building. They yeah, met they royalty are. too at Barclays. Saw that, right? Yeah, yeah. they. Uh, it was in between the Nets game, and oh, they yeah. actually was like, I think it was halftime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they like they walked over to the royalty. Like it was like royalty meeting royalty, and they was just chilling. Like, well, what the fuck is happening? What if he called him Hove in English? Hello, Hove. It's Jay Z. It's Beyonce. It's Beyonce. Beyonce over there. Is that Beyonce over there? It's my wife, the princess. Is she Mikey? <laughs> in the building yes, well, from yeah. the state yeah. of Washington yes yeah. indeed on the show you love for my about? girl Go right there on the one yard line can't Aww. get past it <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this intro <laughs> give it up for Kanisha wake up y'all come on hey uh, 
her wake up And I see that my sister is already dressed She said I'ma run and go get my stamps Watch and make sure no one snatches my check Headed up the mailman Scroll through the mail They put it up in their pockets When they hand a nine to nine They give me enough of a deck And with no fucking project readers Hop on the tent to the clip Ready to get enough what it may throw Gotta catch that buzz I gotta get there Player, player, holla, holla They can't got much to offer With our weed on 93 And that's some dollars oh. Get a bag of death in the corner oh. 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 Most of them, my niggas got the same And we gonna roll it all up the smoke And that reefer hydro No undercut So fuck the popos Come on, Speedy Hey Running through the alley Into the valley Yeah, but the second of sundown No sprint from January, November, November December, December November, the first of the month You almost so he went from January, February, November, December. Remember November, 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 December, November, November. 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 It says so fast. I can get away with that. November, okay. November, 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 November. They all got first of the month. Nimmin, nimmin, nimmin. Did you say M and M's? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you killed Ruju. Thank I, I, you. I'm, I'll say this, oh, yeah. and I don't give people. Too many props. That's true. Okay. Mm-hmm. In this business. Mm-hmm. In life. In, in, in life. And when it comes to female, just I, I won't even say you 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 kill you Thank you are you. Duh. from the cuff you are a beast. Thank I'm sitting there listening to the show thinking you said they ought to have the uh, what's the pill to get rid of the kid? Oh, Plan B pill vending machine. In a vending machine yeah. in Vegas. I said, oh, <laughs> oh shit, that is true. They would. and burned. <laughs> they before. should have that. I thought you gotta have a Snickers in that bitch because you can't eat it on an empty yeah. stomach. Snickers <laughs> and Plan B pills. <laughs> <laughs> Come as a you pack. You are yeah. going. Take care of plan B pill. <laughs> they have the hit life of hell. Be like, oh, that's for Kanisha. Y'all move. Uh, uh, it, should, it should be a combo. It should be the yes. Snickers and the plan B in, in one. Like a, yeah. a Snicker mini and a, and a pill. Yeah. Well, and then. <laughs> That'd be the commercial. Then I'm listening and then I start hear, seeing, hearing revelations about somebody. And I went. <sighs> oh, yeah, oh. we, we you know that nigga. You know that nigga <laughs> on that <laughs> there. <laughs> Some of the shit that dubs on it, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, well dubs, I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm a roll with anyway. I'm acting like what? What? No, yeah. You, you I'm, were fucking. You, you're on fire. Yeah, She's oh, fire's not it. even it. It's just, you, it's like almost you don't take over, but you take over. Yeah. But it's not take over like the person shuts down. It's just like motherfucker, you are you this you, you in the room with Barack. She makes you step your game up, or you you fall behind. Yeah, yeah. He and always said right. Jude always says he's like you're that cool auntie that everybody waits to show up on Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Like fuck the rest of the relatives. Yeah. Where's auntie at? Yeah. <laughs> you know you got some fly shit. It ain't really toys, but some shit you really needed. You yeah. Know? Ooh, a belt. Thank you. Other one broke. <laughs> But, it was, and then and then Lord, you, Lord, is you the same? Oh, you, yeah. you ain't never miss L. You ain't never miss. I always tell her she's the funniest chick on radio, nigga, ever, Aww. ever. Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, a year from now, we gonna be somebody different. I'm telling you, you gotta trust and believe it. Oh, he's gonna mark somebody the, different. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Uh, it's the Rollout Show. Yes, it Speedy is. Speedy and friends, if you want to uh, see and hear and all the good stuff, go to our website. Uh, you can see all the good stuff on there. Also, also till we do conversation. Well. You, no message we board. Ch- message board. Now. Message board on, on there. It's yeah. speedyandfriends.net. That's speedy, mm-hmm. the letter N, friends.net. And if you go on our uh, Instagram, Speedy and Friends, you can see what happened to our intern this morning. <laughs> yes, you can. We had to call the fire department. Yeah. Shout out to two of the firemen who actually listened to the show. So the oh, two really? that were right there, that's why they were peeking in. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're like, so this is where y'all do it at. Yeah, they love oh, Fox. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. That's why I was out there talking to them. They fine asses. They was fine as shit. Yes. Somebody yeah. started a fire. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, Mark wow. said they was fine too. Oh. <laughs> it ain't enough ass on that gurney for me though. <laughs> oh, that's so yeah, he's on there. Uh, 855-960-3699. Uh, and shout out to DJ always, always in your ear. Uh, always in your ear. Uh, thank you for DJ. Uh, also, to show you sure love for our photographer who takes pictures when he want to. Yes, he do. Philly. C Parnell forty five on uh, Gmail if you want to get that, or you can follow him Cool Guy P on Instagram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it is Throwback Thursday. Yeah, it is. So you know what that means. Your chance to get in on Throwback Thursday, and you're gonna you're gonna love Man I Miss. I got a great Man oh, I Miss. Oh yeah. Coming up for you, so you'll be able to chime in on that as well. Being that it is Throwback Thursday, D, uh, what's your name? Oh, yeah, uh, Mark Howard. 
Where did the D come from? I don't know. <laughs> Think about that. You it. Isn't your middle name Maurice? Or some shit no. like that? What's your middle name? Desmond. Desmond. Yeah. I see D. Desmond. As in Tutu? Where did yeah. you get Maurice from, though? <laughs> MD Howard, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mark Desmond Howard. Mark, what is your throwback song, man? Throwback song is uh, the theme album of my high school year, but this song my favorite. Oh, this my shit. Greatest movie ever. Oh, yeah. Greatest movie ever? It was cold. I watched that shit about 10 It was times. horrible acting. You Prince, know what? The when Prince walked good, in though. and he like flipped his hair twice, like, where is he? <laughs> I believed it. Come out, you motherfucker. <laughs> you know, when he yeah. turns. Come out, motherfucker. I was like, oh, that's horrible acting. <laughs> was that how they curse in Minnesota? <laughs> <laughs> when doves cry, that was <clears throat> shit right there, man. Everybody, if you will, a picture. Everybody wanted high heel boots. And you and I engage in a kiss. With a motorcycle on a big ass. Sweat everybody covers me. Just looking for Lake Minnetonka. Can you my body? Can you picture the dream if you will? A car done. A what? Oceans for violets and blue. A croissant? A court don. He said a croissant. No, I said court don. You said a croissant. <laughs> it's courtyard, though. He said a croissant. The heat between me and you. Like I'm just like Not yet. Oh. Alone in a world that's so cold. in a world so cold. Maybe I'm just too demanding. Maybe. Maybe I just like my mama. Too bold. Maybe I'm just like my mother. Yeah. She's what? She's never satisfied. She's never satisfied. Scream at each other. Yeah. Tell you why. This is what it sounds like when does clap. Where were you at, man? I'm in the theater going fucking bonkers. No. Losing my mind. I want to be in Prince Band. <laughs> I want one of them jackets. You want to be everybody band. I know. I was, a, I I was in my, my mama hair. house. I had one of those TVs that sit on the floor. Hilarious. One of those, the big ones, yeah. you know? Turn your phone off. Wow. Fucking incredible. That, that, that probably was me. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Lee? Yes, Lisa. What were you doing? You, you were in high school? You high school. My senior year, man. Had a party before the first year. What year Prince came out? Um, That's uh, 81. Rain. The Purple Rain came out 84. Summer 84. 84. Summer 84. Shit, I was a baby. And, I was um, too. I graduated 85. 30 I, years ago. I wasn't born yet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we threw a party and came out to uh, Let's Go Crazy. Remember that's my shit. That's, Damn. that's one of my all time favorite Prince songs. I, I like Dar crazy? Darling Nikki. Oh, yeah, that's it. I mean, and, Prince got hit. Like so. Com Computer album. Blue yeah. to me because when you get to the back part of the song and it really kicks, mm -hmm. Computer Blue, everybody slept on Computer Blue because in the movie, I think it was uh, they played it when he was riding the bike mm -hmm. to the beach. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you really didn't get the feel of it, and then they they started it up again when they left the beach. Yeah. Right. So it was it was kind of dope when they did that. You yeah. remember? Oh, the end of the album though. Say it again. The end of the album, the last after the last song, Purple Rain, which was the last song mm -hmm. on the album. Then you had a little backward shit. And you had what to, backward and you, shit? Uh, well, and you had to play it backwards. It was well, well you back, you it's not that it. you play it backwards. Then when he had when he came out with uh, the concert. He he played whatever it was he played backwards on the album. He played it forward at the concert. Right. So and you, you were like, what? Because he, he, he talked about it when he came on stage. Right. <clears throat> like, I went and saw Purple What kind of crazy shit is that? Because everybody at that time, shit, in the 70s, uh, this preacher played um, Stairway from Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Right. He played it backwards and was saying Isn't that, that a movie? That wasn't a movie. It was a little kid who played a movie, uh, this, uh, the record backwards and opened up a portal to hell or some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. What, what, trying to well, what happened to. was that this preacher did that, and he was saying that most of the music, if you play it backwards, because you fuck your needles up really back in the day. You yeah. Know, were, yeah uh, supposedly there were messages in the music, so they were telling the kids, they were telling the parents to let the kids play this kind of music Rock because, around. believe it or not, there's messages in the mu music. About, so, the about the devil. So Stairway to Heaven was that song. Okay. And which is a great song. <clears throat> Led Zeppelin destroyed that shit. It was Black Savage or Led Zeppelin? No, it was Led Zeppelin. Okay. And uh, great fucking song. 
It's like seven. That's like seventy two, seventy three, and so nobody would play the song. At least black folks wouldn't play the shit. So right. Prince said, "Fuck that." He played on that. He played the song backwards, and everybody's like, "What the fuck is going on in that uh, fucking song?" Yeah. Remember the thing when she walks in in Purple Rain, and he goes, "What is that?" Sounds like somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was part of that. That was that, that, was that playing backwards, oh. and he was like, "Yeah, screaming in reverse. reverse. Yeah, screaming yeah. in reverse. Screaming in reverse. Yeah." Oh. That was part of that. Prince was on some deep shit. And I don't even yeah. think he smoked weed, did he? No. <laughs> wow. He, just, he was like that on the record. Wow and crazy guy. <laughs> <laughs> Prince, Too wild and crazy <laughs> guys. <laughs> Prince is the only dude with dudes are still coming to the concert. And he had a concert and nothing but his drawers on in his trench coat. Yeah. I mean, he's sexy. And I'm, I'm sorry. When I saw Prince, like, I got it. I understood. Like, you know, I, I, on the outside looking at it, I used to be like, why do these bitches like Prince so much? Like, I don't get it. And when I saw him in concert, third row, and pointed at you. He, he, he looked me in my eyes with his guitar. He didn't. He, three times he, he came over. Point the guitar head at you, like yeah, because I was twenty thousand people. No, no, I was in the third row. I was literally right in the third row. I was, we was here, and I was dressed like Apollonia. First of all, oh, okay, okay. And then, <laughs> and then every time he would go to the other, like come right in front of me, like like how we are right now. Yeah. That's how me and Prince was. <laughs> and he kept doing his shoulder shit with his guitar, and he kept looking at me, and then he got, and he'll wink, and then he'll go back over, and then he'll come at like three songs, <laughs> and my people was that was with me. He goes, yo, am I tripping? Or is Prince fucking with you? I said, yo, Prince, y'all to fuck me. I was like, I'm going home with Prince. I'm going home. But you look like you would have fit with the uh, lace. I could see you wearing yeah. I was so I was so I down. I could see your hair. Like, yeah. shit, no, like when my hair was longer, when I went to the concert, like I did the whole Apollonia shit. I had, had it on one side. Mm -hmm. Had my long earring. I had mm -hmm. lace uh, leggings. like had like, the like on. Yeah. With gloves. You were singing sexually? Uh, uh, yeah, I, was. I, was. I, had, I had lace. Uh, 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 please stop. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's do this correctly. We okay. can't fuck up. Let me turn his mic off because he'll fuck it up. Go again. Now, I had a... Uh, <laughs> How are you dressed again? I had uh, lace stockings on, uh -huh. um, and I had like a mini skirt, oh. and I had a cut off uh, t shirt like with the rip in the middle. Um, okay. And I had like little lace gloves on. You know what? We gotta do this the right way. Hold on. Okay. Think, we gotta, we gotta and, do this. The right and right how old were you then? We just wanna make this sure. nigga talking. No. Oh, there we go, nigga. If you um, fucking. This Jewish. was uh, so actually this was last year. Okay, but you would get to this. Grown I up. had a lace stocking. Yes. A mini skirt, mm -hmm. cut off t shirt. No with panties, the, no panties. For prints, no. <gasps> uh, I got wood. A, a v neck, uh, like a cut off t shirt with the rip and the V. Yeah. Uh, so my titties was out. Uh. And uh, I had my red lipstick with the hair to the side. Swinging. Swinging. Oh. With my one long earring. He was singing to you. He, I told you. Do you have a key my, in the earring? No, I couldn't find what that. What the fuck? I could have found the keychain. Duh. Oh, now I think about it. You're mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. You were looking for a real keychain. You got a real key. <laughs> <laughs> got the nail polish so I can color it. Really. <laughs> <laughs> like, use the key off your keychain. No, bitch. <laughs> got to look, look real. Gotta you don't house. know this came from my keychain. <laughs> 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 I was, and I was intoxicated. So I would have forgot my key was on my ear. Uh, uh, I got my, you at home. Your purse. Where's my fucking key? <laughs> You'd have been at, the, at home going, I left the key at the concert. Yeah. <laughs> But it, was, come. it was cold blooded because he didn't let us take no pictures. You know, a place you can't take no pictures, no, no video, you're nothing. No, so I couldn't even take no pictures. Like I was there. I couldn't no even take a picture. Selfie and nothing. nothing. I couldn't take. I tried to take because they had us like, because I knew the dude who knew Prince. Yeah. So we was like backstage on the side, like we're on the shit. Yeah. And I was just like trying to steal like Prince uh, <laughs> matches and shit like that. Anything they, with the symbol on? Anything with the symbol on. And they had like little Prince shit everywhere. And I was just like, oh, I can't believe it. And I tried to take a selfie on the sneak tip. But then some dude saw me, so I was just like, I'm not trying to get kicked out of this concert. So, yeah, but, selfie secret service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't realize how secretive he was, but yeah, he was leaning. He had muscles. He was just leaning on, like, doing his little shoulder shimmy with the guitar. I was like, I'm a fuck Prince. I get it. At some point. At some point some in my point. life, I have to fuck Prince. Good. I'm laughing at the key thing because uh, Shaq tweeted Justin Timberlake, your mom's so old. The key on Ben Franklin's uh, kite was to your mom's house. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Is she that old? <laughs> you had to be there. It was funny to me. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Your mama's so old, the key on Ben Franklin's kite is to your mama's apartment. That's not funny. It's <laughs> <as> funny. <laughs> funny. It's funny because you have to get it right. 
Oh. As a comic, you have to get, you have, just like you just did. Well, I can't tell the people's jokes. It's hard. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying you did it great because I would have said, yeah, your mom's so old to kill. Ben Franklin's uh, kite was the kite to your mama kite. Yeah. <laughs> String. <laughs> Key, <laughs> bitch. Anyway. All right, throwback uh, song there, Kanisha Bus. I what didn't do got? mine. Oh, I'm sorry. We was talking about Prince. You got it in thought you got it in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we thought you wait. needed a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll come back, get to your song. We got to hit this break shot. Okay. Uh, it's Fox O Radio. It's uh, the rollout show right here. It's uh, Throwback Thursday, and our throwback guy who Tell me, beloved. Got to, we'll come back to him in a minute, but go ahead. Time to have sex. Hey. First time I heard this, junior high school uh, dance. Everybody was dancing and winding up. <laughs> and my dumb ass is in the corner watching. Like, I think I should go home. <laughs> That'd be the party for me. Why you, why you wouldn't know dancing? Because I was such a... I, I was such a mama's girl. Like, so that wasn't I was, the right thing to do? Yeah, I always felt like if my mom would find out. Somehow, someway, my mom would find out. So I was like, yeah. I don't think I should be doing this. It's a real out show right here on the Fox. No, no close yeah. dancing for you? Throwback Thursday. We're looking for your throwback song. Uh, so you can call in. We're going to open the lines, and, you know, we don't let you get on these phones all the time. So here's your chance to call in. Tell us what your throwback song is for the day. Mm-hmm. 855-960-3699. And we're back to Lourdes. Yes. What is your throwback song? My throwback song is just how I feel in life. Which is? See, See money, power, respect. First you get the money, then you mm-hmm. get the fucking power. After you get the power. Something like that. Money, power, respect is to keep life. What? Oh, this dig used to go hard. You'll see the life. What? Kim was a beast. You'll see the life. It's the key to life. What? What? That shit goes hard. This shit, this wraps up my whole high school experience. Really? Yes. Body, body. We take yours. Now we pot about it. Truck, step out. I need to rob somebody right now. <laughs> 211, don't make this shit a 187. Lay it on down. <laughs> Pockets like rabbit ears. Whoa. You know about that. You see the life. It's the key to life. Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim was a beast. I actually bought her album. Yeah, I was like, Yo, fuck that. I still yeah. rock both her out. Notorious KIM and uh, Hardcore. That was Those are like. Well, which I think it's Hardcore when she had her legs open. And yeah. You see that fatty? I said. We oh. all used to say she has a, a pad on. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Yeah, Man, that, that shit. Cha- like, seriously, rap changed my whole mental on life. Yeah, it did. Like, I was just like, oh, this is just the way it needs to be. Like, fuck it. And then growing up in Brooklyn, too, and then you like, you see this Brooklyn chick, and then she's like, I can relate to her. And she talk how I where she grew up? She grew up in Best Eye. Best Eye? No, Best Eye. Bed, Bed, Bedford Best Stuyvesant. Eye. Yeah. Best Eye, do or die. You be making me want to be from New York sometimes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have had a good York, time. New York, New York. You would, like, like the, the, the environment in New York is like, it's all love. That's why we like spread love. It's the Brooklyn way. That's why we give each other so much love. Yeah, we got beef within each other's boroughs, but at the end of the day, we go out of town, and you from Brooklyn, and I'm from Brooklyn, nigga, we riding together. Yeah. Well, it's okay. not a hardcore beef like you fighting these boroughs. You just like. Oh, no, yes, they are. Yeah. 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 I just see like, yeah, my borough's the best. Fuck with you. you know? Nah, I mean, you, within the borough, there's different hoods. You know, there's right. Bedford Stuyvesant. I'm from East New York. York, then there's Canarsie, then you got, you know, it's, it's, it's shit. You gotta remember, he grew up when peace, you know, when they was marching together, you did the 80s, this shit got rough <laughs> you with gangs and shit. He, they was going to Selma and shit, everybody was good. Yeah, I'm, I'm an 80s crack baby. I don't know why baby. this girl is talking this way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the era where uh, you couldn't wear eight ball jackets, like my mom didn't want to buy my brother eight ball leather jacket because they was robbing and killing dudes on the train yeah. for a jacket. Like the dude that smacked the home chick? Yeah, basically. The That's what they would say, he bring an eight ball jacket. Jackets back. Damn. Here it wasn't an eight ball. It was a waistline leather jacket. Mm-hmm. Oh, they was taking that, and oh, then yeah. everybody start wearing the, the trench coat ones. They taking that. Yeah. Shit. So anybody just poor or take, take some shit from somebody? Take some shit from. All right. Uh, throwback Thursday. It is. Yeah, it Kanisha is. Kanisha Bus. Seattle's own. Seattle's own. So you know I'm fucking with this. You know what this is yet? Yeah. Listen to it. <laughs> yeah, come on. Give it to your mama. Wanna wanna gotta give it. Give it away. Give it away yeah. now. Give it away. Give it away. Yeah. One two three four. Gotta give it to your mama. You are from Seattle and half white. 
what I gotta gotta put it put it in ya. I done hung out with you in high school. <laughs> You I know, guys would have been terror in high school. <laughs> but see, I, w- I wasn't the way you think I was in high school. And if you would have been with her, you would have been. Nah, see, I, I, have I was friends worse like, than her. I had friends <laughs> like that, but I, in high school, all I cared about was basketball. So it, basketball? Give it away, give basketball, away, that's all that matters. That's what they give it away, give it away now. Oh, he's going nuts over here. Sorry. Her inner white girl came out. Air drums. <laughs> My old boo, so he does this at uh, karaoke, and I be in the back dancing for him. I love it. That's funny. <laughs> give it away, give it away, give it away. And high school, Red all I wore was, uh, high school, all I wore was basketball to, shorts. They went to Fairfax High School. Oh, really? Yeah, I went to a Fairfax Westchester game and saw Flea there. Yeah. They, they, went, Fairfax, they went to Fairfax High School. Yeah. Nah, high school, picture of it. high school, I was a straight boy. I wore it was uh, basketball shorts, wife beaters, fitted, do-rags. And, uh, Hilarious. and I just carry my, I, I tie my basketball sneakers together and ha- have and them hang. And wore sandals. Yeah, yeah, I wore flip flops. Yeah, flip flops. Uh, wow. I was a boy. You had a basketball uh, bag. Yeah, and I, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's why I used to put my sneakers. I tie the laces together and I have them hanging. I remember growing up, and uh, I would see a guy at the gym with two pair of shoes, and I just thought he was the richest dude in the world. <laughs> and I was like, one day I'm gonna come to the gym with another pair of shoes. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even wear it until I get to the gym. It yeah. was like, that was the most incredible shit. I was like, he got another pair the of the bag. Yeah, cause I, you, I like rolling in with the, with the sandals. And, yeah, because you, know, you can't wear like, the sneakers. You know you're about to come in and put it in yeah. work. You can't wear the sneakers, you're going to hoop it. I didn't walk you know, in. Oh, you can't do that. Because yeah. my, my dad just didn't believe in kids having abundance of shit. Like now, yeah. I, just, like now I have like 60, 70 pair of That's sneakers. why you like that. That's yeah. why I get it now. Because I, I, I just, yeah. I didn't have none. We had one pair of shoes, yep. and then you had a pair family. of dress shoes. And that's why I like sex because I didn't get it when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> when was the first time you got it? Oh. 16. Okay, I was 16. So I'm the same way. Yeah. I was 17. So, and then I didn't, I got it 16, and didn't get no more until I was 18. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I couldn't talk nobody. Well, I had, a, I had a, a older boyfriend, so I was 16. He was 19. So uh, for like the next two, yeah. I was bad. And then I went to college. I was 17. And then he stalked me. Hilarious. (laughs) But of course. It is. My whole college bedroom was all Care Bears because I couldn't afford it growing up. So people would be like, you're grown as fuck to have an entire, I mean, the comforter, the garbage, the light switch, my (laughs) whole, and dudes would come over and be like, uh, I'm like, nigga, you better get in with these bears. So that's what I I guess that's what, when you don't have it, and and like I said, I don't, I didn't think anything was wrong because I only had one pair. Yeah. But I remember Going to the gym and this dude had, and I was like, he got a bag? Because, you know, I ain't got yeah. to show up. I ain't yeah. had no extra shit in the bag. So you you see me now, my bag, I got ointments and extra <laughs> straps. Uh, I got a, straps, I got strings. socks, uh, underwear, just because people show it. You but, got back, no, see, socks, I, but I'm a basketball player. I, yeah. Yeah, I understand that too because I, I got everything my older brother had. Mm. So because I was a tomboy, my mom was like, I'm not buying you basketball shorts. Just use your brother's basketball shorts. Yeah. <laughs> so everything I own was my brother's. Brother's t-shirt, fitted, ba- everything. Like his hoodies, everything was mine. So like that's why I was like, I'm not, I'm a, I'm gonna be like my brother. Yeah, forget so, it. Fuck it. Larry. All right, my throwback Thursday song. Yeah. Uh, not too far back, because you hear when I go too Every far day's back. Everyday throwback Thursday for you. Ralph Trez, man. I love Ralph. Can we get him in here? When this came out, Tiffany. <laughs> when this came out, everybody was like, "I love Ralph." I love. He only had, I think, two songs on that. Yeah, two songs on, yeah. But this was the one, the R. And you was in the club, and you just couldn't wait to get on the dance love, floor, right? and you went. Mr. Sensitivity. Hold on, hold on, money hold on. Girl, yeah, money came I know right. you've been hard since he went away. Sorry, Bobby. He left, but so fast. He was my favorite. Uh, you cried every edition. edition. <laughs> he was my favorite edition. <laughs> everybody loved Ralph. Erase oh, all your doubts For you I'm here You won't be without Cause love Sing it with me now Tell them girl Don't need a man that'll, that'll give you money You gotta listen girl Woo. I know this song. That's my shit. Don't need a man that'll give you money. And I don't care what you doing when you play this, you cheer up. Uh-huh. He'll just be like, nigga, it wasn't that bad back then. You need a man what? with oh. sensitivity. That's me. A man and like speed. Me. Oh! Broken who will cry. <laughs> You're, he's P. Diddy. He's on all the songs. You, right? hey, hey, that's good. Black speaker. You want a host saying his name all up in your song. 
<laughs> Put his finger all up in your food. <laughs> 855-960-3699. We want to know the lines are open. Uh, what is your throwback yeah. Thursday song? And our throwback list person. My main man. I gotta put my glasses on. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You trying to front like you don't need them. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't shit. Man. Show your love for my man, uh, Derek Hill. We'll be playing his music throughout the day. Uh-huh. Derek Hill. Derek Hill. Where you from? You know? They didn't say where he's from. Yeah, he didn't but D, where he's from. D Hill, you know, we got you back, bro. You got some nice stuff on there, so we'll be getting to I it. I love how you try to jazz everybody's name up all the time. That's what you do. D Make them feel good. They driving. They go, D, D Hill? D, D Hilly. He's on D Hill. He's Lulu. on D Hill. Isn't Lulu like a jazzy way of saying Lourdes? Only because that's the, what they used to call me when I was a kid. Well, but then that, you Lulu? like it, obviously you. Well, I, I went from, I used to be Boo Boo, then I went to Lulu, and now I'm just Lou. Do you like it that well, way? Do you, you still Boo Boo? Then she going to go to LG. <laughs> I, no, they used to call me that. In, they used to call me El Dez in high school and, and LG, and I never liked that. I, it fit. It's Throwback Thursday, but it is also Quanta. New. Oldie, oldie. <laughs> we do throwback news. <laughs> throwback news. We should do news from the 80s. Today, Ronald Reagan was on the White House. <laughs> OJ is going down the highway right now in a white Bronco. The juice is stopping for juice. <laughs> Clinton says he did not have sexual relations with that one. But Monica just showed up with the dress. <laughs> with an illegally recorded video. <laughs> and Anita Hill was shown walking up Capitol Hill. <laughs> we have evidence of Washington crossing the Delaware. <laughs> Oregon Trail is now open. <laughs> Smoke signals have just come up about the Underground Railroad. Yeah, well, this, just in, this just in, Harry Tubman stole some more slaves. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get this nigga bitch. <laughs> Let me know y'all I see a boat coming. I think the Mayflower is approaching. <laughs> What are those funny ass hats they have on? This is in God just turned on the light. <laughs> just in play. Uh, Put yeah, it back, like, man. Oh, and maybe we should find out what was going on like that day. Whatever year ago, you know, that's a good idea. That'd be interesting, right? Interesting. Maybe a, a story or two. Yeah, yeah, just at least one cool fact. What happened twenty years ago today? Eighty-five years ago today, the greatest woman in the world was born. Oh, yeah, see, that's a good fact. See, that's a good throwback. Side. Get the women on my side. Oh, he talking about his mama. Oh, I love it. I love my mom. She was crazy. Though. Well, I got some news. Speaking of mothers, <laughs> yes. if you guys are ready, give me some quarter news there. Oh. Beautiful. Okay, and pregnancy fail news. So. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, it didn't work. <laughs> so they're um, on the news. They showed a woman, and you know how the troops <laughs> come home from uh, being on tour. So the husband was on um, tour, and the woman is standing there, and she's nine, uh, eight months pregnant, and she has the belly decorated and the shirt lifted What's up. What's wrong with that? And, the, and she has the <laughs> daughter with her. The only problem is her husband was on a 12-month tour. And, she, and she's eight months pregnant. Infidel. So she, she has the stomach decorated. And I, like, really gonna get? He's gonna get off, and she's gonna try to pretend like it's his baby. Didn't work. Well, we don't know. They only got the picture of her that says pregnancy fell on the news. Like, See, that's uh, the only thing. I'm com- I, I'm not sure. Is she eight months? She's what? she's eight or nine months pregnant. Because you know, when you do it, oh, when I did my year tour, you come home halfway during your tour. They let you come home for two weeks. So that's the only thing I was like, well, maybe he got her pregnant during Mm-mm. his Mm-mm. come yeah, but home. Half of twelve or six, and she eight months pregnant. Well, it, well, it does. It really depends on like what time because they do a lottery, well, and my lottery came in at half the tour. There was some people that got like four months in or five months in. So, so y'all didn't notice the dude standing to the left of her. <laughs> oh. he, he, he has he has some baby shit in his hand. Yeah, he did. In this case, it ain't you, pimp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sure it's me. That's crazy. That's it. But you know what? A lot of I heard a lot of people in Iraq do get their spouses are cheating on them while they're gone. Oh yeah, we call them Jodies. Oh yeah. That, hey, well, that's, hey, that, hey, believe it or not, home. that's a very very old school term. Really? Jody Maybe got, that's where it came he from. Used to call Jody got your girl and gone. Yeah, because they be like uh, when we be uh, like when we have to call home and that dude's calling that girls don't pick up and they like ah Jody's gotta. Matter of oh, fact, Johnny Taylor you, has a song called Jody Got Your Girl and Go. Maybe that's 
it came from here. Yeah. We never that's knew. Somebody said time. it and we just ran with it. Oh, you start marching, marching and shit like that. I remember that shit. That's ain't no use thing going on. Jody got your girl. Jody's got your girl and go. Yeah. So you can't even have the homies name Jody. Who you with, Jody? Bitch, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I must. I mean, besides the stress of being shot at and all the shit that goes yeah. with that. And then you got to, I guess you don't think about your girl at home. No, you do. You do. That's what but you're saying. But I'm saying you can't think about it in that sense. Like, is she fucking around? Because you go fucking crazy. That's why everybody, so I mean, because you, you, you don't have anything to think about but either going home and surviving. Like, you think about your loved ones. Yeah, right. Like, so that's, I, I, a lot of my dudes. someone. Yeah, all of my dudes, they have, you know, their girl pictures with them all the time or yeah. they up in the wall. And all they talk about is a woman. They want to go home. They want to see their girl. They want to see their girl. And they, you look forward to the day where you can go and make a phone call and speak to your woman and then and she don't pick up Ooh. or she gave you the uh, hold on one minute yeah. no 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 bitch I can't hold we, on I can't hold on what the fuck is wrong <laughs> like my mom used to want to pass the phone around no no I can't do that I don't got time like what are you doing I just got to talk to you like <laughs> no everybody's been asking about you good time I'm alive I'll talk to you later bye <laughs> yeah. wow can you imagine I mean just you Didn't remember they had uh, that in a movie? Mama, no, I was just about to say. It was in a Black, movie. Black Hawk Down. Black Hawk Down. And, and, that's and, what it and was. the girl sent the videotape of her fucking this other dude. The neighbor. <gasps> fucking the neighbor. Fucking the neighbor. And, and the dude the was camera. like, that's my girl. And she just looked at the camera and said, that's the shit you get for whatever he did to her or some shit. Oh, you don't do that to nobody. Allison whatever. Cole, yes. Bitches are fucked up. All right. That's, that's when you get that uh, hand grenade in your backpack. <laughs> like <laughs> a little pin in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's yeah, a bad one. So. And uh, I hope that baby don't look like me. <laughs> oh, Kurt, that shit sounds like, spooky. Like Steve, like Steve, uh, song. Fran, Fran, Steve, Steve Francis? No. That's probably Steve, uh, play for the Lakers. He don't play no more. He retired. And Blake. His, his baby mama. Steve Blake? No. No, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, point guard. For the Derek, Lakers? Derek Fisher? Retired. Derek Fisher? He just retired this year. Man, we don't know. Steve Nash. Oh, Steve Nash. 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 Oh. Yeah. Allegedly his ex-wife. <sighs> Had a baby, one of the basketball players. They one of the black the ones? Yeah, get to the hospital, and, <gasps> and he came out looking like Mark. Oh. No! That's why he left Phoenix. Shut the front door. That's so cold. If you're going to be white, you can't be cheating with black, black dudes. dudes. <laughs> and then have a white husband. And, and, and you don't tell nobody till that day. Yeah, it got you got to at least cheat within your race if you're going to have a baby. <laughs> well, honey, you said you wanted to have jumping ability. <laughs> jumping ability. That's terrible. Y'all ain't shit. Oh, that like baby don't look, look like me. me. Sure crazy. jump out the gym, though. <laughs> and the other old saying was uh, mama's babies, papa's Maybe. baby. Maybe. I said my dad my, like when I was growing up, they used to always tell me they found me in a in a dumpster. <laughs> to this day, my dad said, "You forget, I forgot, I found you in the dumpster, right? You're not my baby." <laughs> but they used to always said, like, uh, my mom, my dad always said, "You're not really mine." I didn't find out that my dad wasn't my dad till I was like 16. Shit. But everybody else looked alike, and they used to always go, "He that red boy," because my brothers and them are all dark. And I was like, "Yeah, I don't look like." Oh, well, fuck it anyway. We all got the last name. Let's roll with it. And then I got 16. My mother hit me with the, uh, we need to go for a drive. Hilarious. <laughs> we'll come back talk about More that. More corner news. Slow wake speed. I'm dreaming. Sorry. I was you wish you was light-skinned. Here, here, here you go. Here you go. Hey. 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 All you light-skinned brothers, get it in. Yeah. Derek Hill. It's your playlist, Pippin. Right. Oh, I like his playlist. Fuck, yeah. Wesley, fuck Wesley Snipes. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm dreaming, then just let me sleep. Don't wake me up till my dream is complete. If I'm dreaming, then what? Just leave me alone. Turn off the lights and unplug the phone. Watch this. I can get over. The fact that I'm with you. You do a lot of hands. Now that movement. I have it, I don't know what to do. Yep, yep. Girl, if I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming about you. The, the things that I like to do. My sis. Don't wake me. I'm dreaming. Girl, don't wake me. I'll be in the club singing the shit out of this motherfucker song. You can tell me shit. I thought I was light skinned. <laughs> Just let me sleep. Don't say what, ladies. My dream is complete. Let my dream in. Go ahead on, Derek Hill. Playlist. I like Fato Radio. 
D Hill yeah. got a nice little playlist. <laughs> that shit was hype. Christopher Williams. Christopher Williams, get his new album. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> He only had one, I think. He basically, he, he thought he was going to be. He thought him and Albie Shaw was going to take this shit over. Yeah, I thought they were. Too. Real love, hey, I'm searching for a real love, hey, someone to set my heart free. Real love. Uh. I yeah. wasn't hitting that eye-eye. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that eye. It's the world out show right here on Sirius 96 Fox oh, yeah. Radio. Yes. Colin, we want to know your throwback jam. Yes. And Can we, we have some more corner news? We already got a lot of corner news. Oh, mm-hmm. Speaking of real love, um, Hilarious. <laughs> a man carves his name into his girlfriend's chest. What? Mm-mm. Yes. A California man allegedly held his girlfriend captive for two days, repeatedly assaulted her, and used a razor blade to carve his name into her chest. Um, <laughs> like, this is, this is fucking insane. Like, he held her against his, her will. You think? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> like he now he's charged with kidnapping, domestic violence, making criminal threats, and he can actually face up to eleven years in prison. That's all. Well, yeah. You want, you want more? She's alive. Yeah, yeah she's. she's alive. I mean, she way more than that. At least I hope. Hey, man. I hope they put after that. He need to go to counseling. Shit. Shit. I would have been like, look, 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 I'll just tattoo it. Like, you don't got to carve it. I'll be trying to make wills and deals. I mean. James, right? Cool. I expect. Well, basically, you know, he also in, has a history of violence with her, you know, uh, punching her, headbutting her. Um, like, that's what they They want more, but. Ladies. Ladies. I have daughters. I have sisters. Once you get slapped and you don't leave. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much a wrap after. So, that. Yeah, because for uh, two, like you know, she was held captive for two days. Yeah. So um, they said she managed to fight him off and escape with his vehicle, and uh, she was bleeding, showing signs of abuse, and was able to flag down a nearby business employee who called nine one one. Yeah. Good for her. Way to go, girl. Way to get out of that shit. Definitely. I mean, that, that but that's the shit. carving on the chip, yeah, that's some real, because you're never getting rid of that. Like, mm, well, that's stuck. Well, you got to have to find you a really good plastic surgeon. Yeah. And he was, he's only on a $100,000 a month. Hopefully uh, he ain't got it. Knowing them kind of dudes, they ain't got that kind of money. Yeah. Wow. Well, mm-hmm. That's unfortunate. That definitely is unfortunate. Uh, but she probably was trying to break up with him anyway, and that's when he spazzed out. That's why when you break up with somebody that you know is crazy, you can't do that shit at the house. You no. need to do it somewhere, open, public. Yeah, you go already got your you stuff go gone. You don't got to go through the house. Go to the game. <laughs> yeah. Let's go watch a hockey game. <laughs> somewhere where there's people around. I'll break up with you at the police station. What officer? <laughs> <laughs> get real loud. What? What now? Say all that shit you said last night. Wait, how would you even get them there? Oh, I, I lost something. Because I'd be like, man, somebody robbed me. I need you to go with me. And right when we get in, turn to him and be like, doom, doom, doom. Nigga, we done. <laughs> the Lord know that the thing comes on? <laughs> yeah. Boom, boom. <laughs> I like that. Forget that. Yeah. Howie, what you got, though? I got some good news here. McDonald's will raise the wages of 90,000 employees by 10%. Not percent, but percent. 10% of what? Of what, though? Because we remember <laughs> there was a way. thing. We did a story about that. Well, they I were going I thought to $15 that, yeah, they were in going certain to, places. Yeah, and people were getting, well, like, fucking spazzing out, saying that the country will fold up if McDonald's or but a lot of places minimum wage it. goes to. Yeah, yeah. That's just the Republicans. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, 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 they the Republicans? They, cause, because... Anything to scare, and I'm glad I don't fit that category. Anything to scare older whites, mm-hmm. and, and if you say, "Well, if you if you help people out, it's going to fold the country," they believe that shit. Well, you can't even say older whites. That's older money, period. Because there's so much money. The older here, money, no, it doesn't happen. But does those voters in those Bible belts? They think all that's or, oh, or yeah. in Florida. Bible junkies. Yeah, or in yeah. Florida, they believe that anything helping people out, uh, the government assisting, and in, in, they go, oh, here's the thing. They'll go, we don't want no assistance from the government. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't? Well, who you think is paying for the roads and doing for all that shit? Well, that's different. They want who to you do think, that shit. Uh, 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 make sure all this other shit, you get health, your health care is whatever it's supposed to be. We ain't talking about that right now. I know. Because we don't want to do that. But they spaz out. So how do you do it? You scare them and say, oh, guess what? If we give minimum wage people more money, it's going to fold up the economy and you're going to lose your job. Raise rates. We are yeah, your pension's going to be gone. Which is true because poor people spend more money on useless things. So it actually goes yeah, back we to actually, the economy. I'm going to say we, but the, if you put more money, give them more money, they'll spend more money. Yeah. They, now, rich people don't spend money. No. Mm-mm. They will not do it. Mm-mm. That's so, well, rich. rich people learn to invest. 
Poor people don't learn to invest. We try to yeah, save, we invest save, in save, the sneakers. Save, save. Man, I got like and gold chains. Yeah, my sneakers. That's a whole different. That's a whole different thing. But we save, 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 and that's taxable uh, investment. It's not as tax. Your tax breaks. But the hamburger chain announced Wednesday that it will raise wages of employees by ten percent following months of public outcry and protest. The pay hike will apply to only ninety thousand workers at the company-owned restaurants across the country, but not to the majority of six hundred and sixty thousand workers at 3,100 eateries that are privately owned. Yeah, Man, I franchise. forgot where I was reading. I forgot where it's at. That minimum wage is, I think, like 15. Well, now, um, it says here, too, uh, New York. The minimum wage in New York went up last year from $8 to eight seventy five, and will be hiked to 9 in uh on December 31st. I'm going to Switzerland, man. <laughs> also, with the pay hike, so too, was impo- which is kind of funny. Well, not funny, but good. Uh, the full and part-time workers will also get paid for personal time off as well as financial assistance oh, that's cool. to complete high school now, and pay college. I'm going to tell you a position that McDonald's don't sleep on. What? Managers. Oh, yeah. yeah man- oh, yeah. Managers I have, I have a homeboy who uh, went to college with me. Shout out to Rodney. He actually is a manager at a McDonald's, and he clocks. They clocking. Oh, yeah. Clock. So you're making money. There's niggas on the fries and the burgers. No, like, he, like, he's, like, the manager of the whole, like... Yeah. Like, he... A district manager? Yeah, he Did comes he have in, a black shirt on? He has a tie and shit. Yeah. He come through, and I'm just like, yo, he, like, I got a couple McDonald's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And his mom is also part of that, too. I think, I forgot if she's, like, part of... I think she's, like, the district manager. Mm-hmm. Right. But both of them together, they, like... They taking over this McDonald's franchise, <laughs> yeah, and I be like, I be watching his Instagram. I'm like, yeah, I know you loving it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. loving it, and, and, and you and you're really getting trained. You getting good enough money. You trained to be able to one day have the opportunity to own you. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. what I'm, it's what two I, what million I'm saying, dollars in a two year wait list. The manager, mm-hmm. not the dude running. Not not the motherfucker that kind of come in and swing. I'm talking about my man that go. You got you coffee good. You good. Yeah. That dude. Oh clocking. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You make a nice change. Yeah, but the guy the, that wears the white shirt. Yeah, but yeah. the nigga on the front wear a shirt at all. Well, sometimes sometimes we have a black shirt on. They're usually the ones that that that'll walk the line, and if something's not done, they'll go. You, yeah, you get your coffee. Let me get your coffee for you. Boom, they that yeah. dude. They that uh, dude. But they yeah. clock it. They don't sleep so on it. So over at this one, it's the, it's the chick going. Ah, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. Okay, yes, with her. the little squeaky voice. Yeah, bitch, well, clock. Right. What's she saying? She's clocking. We don't know. She just got a high voice. She's very high voice. Yeah, very high voice. She got a man. Yeah. I started on cleanup. Then I went to fry. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm on the cash register. So in a couple of years, I'll be assistant manager. And then the big bucks will come in. <laughs> <laughs> Fox on Radio. Big bucks is coming at you. Uh, when we come back, man, I miss. We'll hit it. Man, I miss. It's the 80s, mister. Miss what you missed in the 80s. I don't think we'll ever have another. Luther? Brother that can sing. I know why. He could say, mm-hmm. I don't know if you ever saw a Luther in concert. Yes. Right there. When he did this song, he set it up for like a, like what seemed like an hour to make it like he was having a party. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a whole concert. shit. I mean, it's yeah. one of the greatest concerts I had ever been to. And I took my girl, and we were both standing with little roses in our mouth. <laughs> Luther! Time to fuck out. You had a rose in your mouth? Well, you thought I was not going to hear that shit? <laughs> I was caught up. It was Luther Vandross. He was wet. Yeah, wait, so hold up. So do the singer, and you put a rose in your mouth. I was holding it for my girl. Nah, so. Teddy Pendergrass on stage? No ah! <laughs> and And it was just Luther. It wasn't like it was like five other groups. It was just Luther. Oh, so you couldn't when be a I part went, of Luther's group. When well, I went, well, it was Kim, when I went, Kim it was, Cole's hosted, or, or she was the... The right. comic, and then she brought out Luther. I went like in the '80s, dude, when this was out. Yes. And uh, had Jesse Johnson on for. Oh, Jesse! Wow, that's a pretty good one right there. Yeah. I, it's the rollout show right here on the Fox O. It's top of the hour, a little bit after the hour. If you're not there, you might as well just stay in the car and listen to us because it's the funniest four hours of your life. The, get you, with the life, man. The day. You live your life one day at a time. Thank you, Mark. Howell. Now you want to be one of the Tummy Twins. Now you're <laughs> muted. You can never <laughs> Don't be stealing my ideas and taking them. First of all, I did that before you even came on the show. I used, I used to be the one who got muted. I used to steal everybody else's mic. You came a long you, way, man. Why not, right? Why yeah. would you mute Lourdes? Because I used to get in his ass. <laughs> she, was ba- she was bouncing around from chair to chair. I used to get, I used to grab everybody's mic. You can't mute me, motherfucker. <laughs> and she grabbed his mic. You did, have a, <laughs> yeah, you did have a little thug thing yeah. about you. Unmutable. I still do. That shit don't go away. I just tone it down for y'all. Matter of fact, Unmutable. shout out. Shout out to my best friend because she just uh, got serious uh, to listen to me. Oh, cool. What's yeah. her name? Claudine Bowman from Brooklyn Flatbush. Claudine. Send in that throwback old, list. Old school name. Yeah. Oh, she's Haitian. 
Yeah. Oh, dope. Sock uh, passe. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Ain't too many Claudines coming down the pipe. I know that. Eight five five nine six zero three six nine nine. Uh We have one more corner news, right? Yeah, and Go then ahead. we have a, thro- we a, a bunch throwback. Of, but we got a throwback news. Yeah. Um, since we are doing throwback. So recently, T-Pain has uh, gotten a lot of flack because he dissed Aaliyah after being criticized for using her vocals in a song during his listening party for his new album. Um, so uh, he de- he debuted the new song um, titled Girlfriends, and it, it has her voice featured on the track. Um, and so after he plays the song, T-Pain goes into detail about how he's gotten criticism for using the vocals. But his problems came when he used his analogy to link his criticism to an asshole dying. Quote, he says, I'm not discrediting Aaliyah in any kind of way, but you know how when somebody's an asshole their whole life and then people go to their funeral and act like they're the greatest man to ever live? Instantly at that point, people just start booing him and like taking, you know, you can't diss Aaliyah. What the fuck was his problem and, though? Um, so he was getting heckled. diss the movie. Don't diss Aaliyah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so then the he, he came back to say, he was like, I'm just saying because she passed, nobody's good enough to use her music. If she was alive, everyone would be saying she's trying to be like Beyonce. So he shot herself in the foot again. It's just like, dude. <laughs> she wasn't she was trying to be like Beyonce. no Beyonce. She, she had she a, was ahead. She is. Yeah, she, she was. Because she was on, she was solo. Beyonce yeah. was in the fucking group still. Yeah. And Aaliyah had her own swag she was a tomboy who was sexy as shit beyonce's always just been a sexy girl yeah Aaliyah had her own swag like she's the one that's you know had the baggy pants with the crop tops and you know she had the hell figure joint on like come on man you know what you know what man you know what man (laughs) fuck (laughs) t-pain like how but i was just like why would you use that analogy of somebody dying you know when someone's an asshole but you know Aaliyah fans are die hard they booed the shit out of you no pun intended yeah (laughs) 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 you did come with it though that's ridiculous tell you what t-pain sing without that auto tune let's see how it works yeah he did. He, he did. did. He did. That, he, but, he, he, uh, he went back to it. Yeah, he went back to he it. Went back to it. But he already said, Jeff of Auto Tune, man, take a hit. But, but, but he's huh? the only one that could really flip it and make yeah, it sound right. Everybody else that tried it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was good, good, but he actually has a voice. Why but, is his mic on? I don't know. Okay. But my thing is, why would you use that analogy after you already used her in the song? Of course, you're going to take criticism and you're going to take flack, but to go ahead and, you know, try to. I don't know what that his comparison. Point was. Nobody does. And that's why he just got booed. And even when he came back and tried to correct it, we still was like, uh, boo, motherfucker, boo. Boo, boo. boo. So, motherfucker. If you're going to criticize anything having to do with Aaliyah, cr- criticize the movie. Yeah, that's it. That was so yeah. the movie was fucked That's the only thing you could really that criticize. That's and her terrible. Acting. Criticize the producer. Uh, you liked Romeo Almost Die? I did, actually. Yeah, that was good. I kind of. I like the the, the story. Yeah, I like the storyline, but they did some extras with it. Yeah, it wasn't like she was like, ah, oh, this bitch gonna win an Emmy. Nah, it's. But they didn't make it. So you can't win an Emmy on a movie on people acting in in just period. You very hard because I mean, like, because you got a Tony or something. With you? No, you, soon, nigga. I'm just saying. Huh? She ain't fucking with this nigga you, named you know, Tony in Palm Springs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tony. I'm saying, you got pieces? I mean, the same you, way you are hard on, like, other comics and shit like that. Like, before before stand-up, before radio, for me, it was just acting. Like, I used to, like, shout out to my best friend again, because she's the only one who ever believed in my dreams. <laughs> we would really be in the park in, in New York, like, rehearsing lines. And, like, Forgot I would. Th- that's what. It, what? She could call it right now. 855-960-3699. <laughs> Um, we believe because she don't she don't act she don't do none of that shit but she would literally go over my lines with me like acting was my like that was it for me that was my craft so when I see so, other so are you people really good on cold reads yes yeah okay. That's why I know she how to... killed that black crush oil. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do cold reads. I, I used to do theater. Like I used to do all drama. Like I never wanted to do comedy. Like I was like I do comedy for fun. You know what I'm saying? So I was always just like, I'm going to do drama. I'm a thespian. Niggas not a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> and I, that's all I want to do is act. So when I see like movies and shit, I'm very uh, you know, critical on that part. But just like how you are with comics and shit like that. Same thing. Well, Speed ain't critical. He hating. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I never hate. I never, <laughs> nah, never. Not with all the props he gave me this morning. I'm on Speedy ne- side. Because no. cause you're, you're, you're... It's like... I look at all of us. Well... <laughs> I'll look right here. You can't fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> when that door opened for us, man, the world just don't know. It's yeah. gonna be like, wow, where's she been? Motherfucker right here. And yeah. and and that's pretty much how life is. Uh-huh. You got God. Damn, 
man, this motherfucker's really good. And why are they not doing this? I, like, I could see all of us hosting something individually. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, did you hear Lord has got this? And did you hear that uh, Kanisha mm-hmm. got this? And did you hear that? You, you heard that Mark learned to read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and for those yeah, out Mark there. Mark bought a gun. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Mark will be the new host of Reading Rainbow. <laughs> Butterfly in the sky. I could go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Man, fuck y'all. You know, <laughs> and it's, it's just funny because uh, people used to tell me I, I can't do comedy. Because they know me as being hood and a thug and I do drama. They're like, you're not funny. You can't do comedy. I'm like, no, nah, I like Which motivated you? People was like, yo, why the fuck you ain't doing comedy? I was like, I don't know. And then somebody was like, yo, I, honestly, when I told somebody I was going to do it, uh, somebody told me, hit me on Facebook. It's like, yo, we was talking about you. And they said, yo, you should never do comedy. You not that funny. Whoa. And I said, what? Hold up, motherfucker. Hold up. Now, I was like, you, you don't. All right, cool. And then a year later, I opened up for Mike Epps. Bam. Yes. And then they in my inbox like, hey, man, when the next time you have a show, can I come through? Like, <laughs> yeah. fuck you, no, you're I ain't that funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is Throwback Thursday. Yeah, so is. we decided to go get some throwback. Whoa, shit. Somebody just bent over. Thank I you. lost something. We've seen some back, all right. It was <laughs> no, we'll keep looking for it. <laughs> Lourdes is on the ground, and apparently she's bending over looking for something. It's great. she got a whole lot of backside. Yes, You lost the paper. Can we go to Yeah, break? I lost the, the ending of how this shit ended. But I, oh, there we go. Yeah, there I look, I saw it the whole time. I was like, oh, fuck you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have He some, would love to. I would try to go to break while you no, do. Do we have a cue for throwback news? Oh, we should have a throw. No, we didn't. Yeah, well, Can we get we like a 60 minutes? Oh, yeah, 60 minutes. Or something, like some ocean. Well, my thing is, we just started that. How am I going to have a... <laughs> you got to work on the fly always. Let, let me look in your thing, pull up 60 minutes, and go, you ready? You want me to tell you an, yeah, another you, story why like, they why he looks that up? Yeah. Like okay, story. so this is because this is the foolish tale right here. So uh, a Lotto Super 7 winner, she won $10.5 million, Ontario, Canada, um, and now she is broken on the bus. Um, she's like, penniless. Like broke, broke. Like broke. broke. She has, they call her the penniless millionaire. Ooh. And she is back on the bus, but she spent, she was giving a whole bunch of money away. Like she had a $200,000 Cadillac. Like she was pimping rides, 30 cars. 10 million? Well, 10.5 million. Okay, the government take a little bit. Well, it's in How Canada, much did she so. get after that? No, well, she ended Canada, with 10.5 million. Oh, after so which she's she went, liquid. She went home with $10.5 million. Liquid. Yes. He should. And she said, she said, she said, well, I seen so many zeros in my bank account that I never kept track. She was like, she ain't never seen no shit like that before. So like she gave her parents a so million, her best her friend a million. It? it took her nine years. Nine years to go through 10.5 million? Yes. So almost like basically a million, almost a year. Year. a million a year. That's what a the hell are you buying a million a year? Especially because you should be living off interest with that alone in the yeah, bank. Yeah, you just right. put it in the bank. Yeah, why don't you invest in something, man? Yeah, and I seen the pictures. They had her car. I mean, she had a Cadillac that opened in the back, had super speakers, it had velvet, <laughs> so where blue are those velvet, cars and all that stuff. And she had. She was. She started selling all that stuff off. In the house, she lost the house. Everything. You know how scared they had to be. You? Nigga, I'm down to fifty thousand. <laughs> like, that's how you come. You know, I bought some shoes. Man, yeah, she had to get. She got rid of everything. Then, then you try to get your life together. I'm gonna take this and then invest. Yeah, this. yeah. I, I always said if I ever won the lottery, I would take you know a portion of that and invest. You know, put it in some type of stock. Supposed to do? Yeah, like why would you? Below, do it. What are you doing with a two hundred thousand dollar Cadillac? Dumb. She might as well just buy a no, Bentley. What are you doing on my bus? <laughs> yes, and now she's on the bus. They yes, call her the, the penniless millionaire, and she rides the bus to work, and she's struggling now. Like it's it's she's living. And you check can't to even check. feel bad for you, like no, no not at all. Because if I would have got that I opportunity, yeah, give me ten point five right now. Yeah, I know. Okay. Going by her, I was like, you ain't even <laughs> have to come up with no excuse. Hey, Carol, mm-hmm. what, you know. what you need? <laughs> you know, yeah. I can you do like a like a hundred? Hundred dollars, thousand. You, you could do a hundred. Okay, I'd, I'd take a million and put in production my the movie I wrote. Yeah, you know, flip that. You know, it's so much. She's thirty five. Damn, so she's yeah. Fuck her friends. Yeah, yeah, because your, your friends supposed to be like yo. And her son. dude had just got out of jail when she won. <laughs> so <laughs> what a co- coincidence! coincidence. <laughs> and we living we, good we, now we. with another bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they going to play lottery. If he was, exactly. if he was smart, I, like I would have done, like in uh, what's that, uh, Goodfellas, when she'd be like, "I need this much money," and then you keep pocketing the money, keep yeah. pocketing the money, <laughs> and put that shit away. But Damn, yeah, ten mil in nine years. That's crazy. And now you don't have nothing. You struggle paycheck to paycheck on yeah. the bus. Now, all you could think is, Damn, I wish this was. A Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was 2007. Man. I'm sorry for Talk about 2004. Man, <laughs> Talk about man I miss. Yeah. <laughs> man, I miss that money. Man, I miss that money. That's crazy. All right, you ready always? No. Okay. Mark, you got any other news stories? Oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead, Mark. Read. Drunk Alaska man steals forklift, drives three miles to retrieve the truck. <laughs> 21 year old. That's a young. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 year old sense. drunk man, Alexander Glushko. Yeah. Crashed his father's truck in Alaska to recover the truck. He came up with a plan steal a forklift to get it out of there. He nearly got away with it, too. Yeah, so the police said, Why is there a forklift on the freeway? <laughs> he had a blood alcohol level of 0.230 oh, when arrested. Crashed his father's truck into always? a stack of pipes. <laughs> left in a company yard. So he went, took the forklift, got his car, drove with the motherfucker, and then got mm-hmm. caught. I mean, that was a great plan, though. It Wait, was. You see the picture of the truck? Yeah, in yeah. theory, it's, it's up on the uh, on the rail. Because, yeah. you know, when yeah. you're drunk, anything sounds like a good plan. Like, bitch, I'm going to NASA in the morning. <laughs> 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 let's, let's break in, fly yeah, the shuttle. The fact that he had access to a forklift, he's like, oh, I'm going right. to get Jimmy's forklift. <laughs> it was from his this- job, right? Well, yeah, he walked. No, he walked to uh, George Horner Ice Park. It says, New York Daily News reports, stole a forklift and began to drive away. He yeah. drove for three miles down the road, then looped back to retrieve the truck. Unfortunately for the forklift uh, guy, Alaskan railroad worker spotted him and called the police. Okay, so he took the railroad, the the track from yeah, the railroad. Took the what? Yeah. The railroad. The railroad. Railroad. <laughs> rail, 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 rail road. He you took rascally like, like, wabbit you. I hate the well road. But you know, when you're drunk, so much. Think about all the good plans we had. You got married <laughs> drunk. You know what I'm saying? I did. <laughs> like, there's been some <laughs> fantastic plans. In Palm Springs. Right. In Palm Springs. Oh, that's right. That was she a full blown married. wedding. Uh-huh. Think about all the shit you've done. Drunk and, mm. and that's why you got fantastic. you got to come this year to Palm Springs because it's a little bit bigger. It's it's going to be better, but I remember huh? you, and we, I think we hadn't even been hanging out that long. No, because I started that was our first I started doing a Speedy's Comedy Corner on like Wednesdays, two, yeah, in June and, and the, end of June. And, and I then, remember looking at her going, "I should ask her to come." And Kanisha went, "Yeah, fuck it." <laughs> <laughs> I had to pause because I was, was like, I have my own right room here. for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, so if you would have said no, done. we would never have been here. Yeah. I know. And so, Look at God. So, and then when you get in the car and you're drinking leaves and <laughs> kale and I'm going to be cute and sexy. I'm like, yeah, whatever, man. You know, what the fuck? I'm going to be you Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've just known y'all probably like up. three weeks. Yeah. To my mind, like, just don't fuck up. Yeah. And then we get there and you're all like, yeah, oh, this is great. I'm, I met a guy. I'm like, no. And in my mind, like, no, don't meet a guy on the first night. <laughs> Why did you, you tell this, me? You supposed to be fucking. But. Because you was a new booty. You was new. And we trying to tell you. And next thing you know, you're like, no, I met a guy. He's a great guy. I was so drunk. I was like, Speedy, I like him. (laughs) You loved him. (laughs) I was like, Speedy, is amazing. (laughs) And Speedy's going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. They believed you, though, when he was sitting in the front row by himself, left all his friends to come watch you. They was like, oh, these bitches are really in love. And then then I hear about what happened at the pool and fuck buddy over here. Had the whole everybody fuck naked as Jaybirds. <laughs> I was like, where was I? Did you call me a fuck buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I look like a school of fish was just swimming. <laughs> <laughs> look at these flounders out here. <laughs> Flounder <and> titties. <laughs> so, yeah, getting drunk will cause you to do some. I some guess reckless. Yeah, I've done I some I guess you would have went and got a forklift. And, yeah. That sounds amazing. Maybe if I move my truck over. And he's been arrested previously on DUIs. So, say his first road. How'd he get out? A forklift. Well, I mean, you, know, that first time, you know, that first time you go through, you go to school and all that bullshit. Well, we can't worry about the sound effects. Let's just play okay. our regular. Yeah, I'll just talk about it. No, play our regular corner news. Bam, bam, bam. Quanta old, old, old news. Quanta old news. Today in 1992, mob boss John Gotti was convicted of murder. A jury in New York finds mobster John Gotti, nicknamed Teflon Don, for his ability to elude convictions. Uh, and he, you know, he was convicted on 13 counts, including murder and racketeering. 
Mm. And everybody want to be him. Now, every rapper think they John goddamn got it. And everybody, so yeah, every rapper is a Teflon Don. Like, <laughs> if you've gotten caught for a DUI, you are yeah, not a, a Teflon, Teflon Don, Don, okay? I got you tickets and child support yeah. for it in the morning. If your tour bus has gotten pulled over for weed allegations, <laughs> like, you are not the Teflon Don. If you have gone to jail because you have violated parole for having guns on your ass, <laughs> you're not Teflon Don. <laughs> and, and that's the thing about You got us. a ticket for jaywalking. <laughs> You oh, are not the, not the Teflon Don. If you got That's thrown me. out of a club for an altercation, you are not a Teflon Don. <laughs> altercation. <laughs> In the bathroom. In the In bathroom. The bathroom. <laughs> so shout out to 1992. Wow. If you're getting sued for whooping ass, you are not the Teflon <laughs> Don. <laughs> You didn't elude nobody. <laughs> you didn't elude nothing. <laughs> oh, man. The mobsters didn't have nothing on tape, okay? All yes. my memory. Yes. Sure. <laughs> didn't yeah. have shit on me. Yeah, yeah. but that, that's true, Kenny. What you said, brothers that are trying to emulate mobsters, they want to be God, like a rapper, young Gotti, all this shit. We admire all these mafia people, man. Mafia didn't give a fuck about black folks. <laughs> oh. I know. Shit about my they stepped on us like they could. Any, anytime yeah. we came up, they came over and took our shit. Yeah. I'll, thank you for that uh, insight. I don't know where we're we going with that. Just. No, anyway, it's Throwback Thursday right here. And also, I want to get in Man I Miss. Ooh. I love Man I Miss. Man I, I Miss is the 80s. I got so much shit I miss. From the 80s? From Hell the 80s. Yes. Like, like, what was the TV show you watched in the 80s? Mine? Yeah. Ooh, I watched a couple of joints. Yes. Remember Small Wonder with the Andrew? Ooh! Yeah. Yes. But there's another one. I forgot the name of the show. But the bitch, she put her fingers together and she freeze time. <gasps> Huh? Yes. Is that that's not small wonder? No, it's not small wonder. Okay, I know what you're talking a, about. She had like magic powers and like anytime shit would go wrong in her house or whatever, she should fuck up, she'll put her fingers together and time would freeze. What the fuck? Audrey Majeed? No. no. <laughs> it was a white was, bitch with blonde hair. I think you was popping Molly's back then. <laughs> think not, you, was on, you were driving a forklift. No. <laughs> it was one of those shows that like ran only like two seasons. Yeah, I know what you're talking I'm about. I'm going to look though. it up. Yeah. 855-960-3699 is the number to call into for Man I Miss. And Man I Miss, Miami Vice. Really? Yeah. Oh my. Let me guess. You wanted to be in Miami Vice too? Hell yeah. You I cannot fit one of those shirts w- with the shit open. Back then I could. I wanted Back a Ferrari then. and I was going to pop in the tape and have We Belong to the City playing when I drove that. Dude, I, all my jackets had shoulder pads in. Anybody know the 80s? Dudes had sh- this right here. Actually, that's the first crush I ever had was Don Johnson and the black really? dude. I forgot the black Philip Michael Thomas. Yeah, Philip Michael now, Thomas. Here's, here's the thing on Philip Michael Thomas. He's only had two bumps in his career. The first one he did Sparkle, which is back. Oh in yeah, the day. yeah, he did do Sparkle. He was the yeah. the young dude in Sparkle, and then he didn't work no more to Miami Vice. Mm-hmm. And then after Miami Vice, he yeah, don't work shit. no more. Damn. He had two bumps, and and when I tell you they killed Miami Vice, oh my! Every I mean, I had the the little thin white shirt that kind of yep. dipped down to show my little chest hairs, my little Richard Brown trees, and uh, Brown I, had, <laughs> I had a white sh- uh, a jacket with the shoulder pads, with the sleeves rolled up, with the, with a nice little thin gold chain around my arm, and nice thin went around. My, oh. And I had the white pants with the what's those shoes called? Capriz- Capizios. Capizios. Oh, oh, I know Capizios. Nigga, I thought I. And, and well, we how, had, how many seasons was uh, Miami Vice? Like five. 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 No. No, Miami not, Vice went forever. No, no it, it didn't go longer than Married with Children. No, 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 no Married with Children. It's like eight, maybe, maybe eight. But yeah, it was but the, the, the last couple of years it, I stopped watching because it was like it right. Was it was definitely the eighties because and half of like either one of them wasn't in it. That's when the dudes, the, the the white guys had their hair was feathered back, mm-hmm. so they that whole like, Miami look was in. Yeah, that was in. That was the that George was my Michael show. Scruff look. You oh, could yeah. you couldn't yeah. tell me shit. Eighteen. Alf. Ooh. First of all, I Alf. had a crush on Alf. I wanted to be with Alf so bad. You would. I a young. I had a crush on Alf. That would have been my Alf. man. So we want to know. Man, I miss what about the eighties? What was your favorite TV show? Throwback song. Throw that all in there. 855-960-3699. It's the rollout show right here on the Fox O. Uh Derek Hill's playlist is playing right now. Good song. It's the rollout show right here on the Fox O. Oh, uh, she yeah. likes me. She likes me. Oh God, fuck that. Oh, so we found out what the name of the show I was telling you about. Thank you for uh, people who tweeted me and, and hit me up. The name of the show is Out of This World. Who was in that? No fucking clue. Hilarious. <laughs> but it was called Out of This World, and the chick she was like, um, like her dad was an alien or something, and like talked to her from like a special prism or some shit. Um, but yeah, that shit was dope. Like she'd be freezing time and shit. 
I don't remember. Every time I used to get in trouble, I used to put my fingers together like, can I freeze time? Can I freeze time? <laughs> Appreciate those calls. Uh, they hit you on your Twitter, right? Yeah, Twitter, text, everybody. People just yeah, thank listening. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Speaking of that, uh, our Twitter and all that other sh- social media is Speedy and Friends on Everything. Everything. That's Speedy, the letter Friends on Everything. And if you want to go get a t-shirt, a hoodie, a v-neck, um, you can go to speedyandfriends.net. You know, get a t-shirt. You know, we want to sign it. We sign it. I'm going to start sending out pictures, too. I know Kanisha did pictures. Uh, so the next uh, run is going to be my pictures. And they were right. Miami Vice was on from 84 to 89. It only did five years. That's but, still a good run. But it, it feels like it was way more than that. I don't know why. but Because you wanted to be on the fun. show. Yeah, because I wanted to be fun. on the fucking show. Dude, and, I, go ahead. That shit was like high school, Friday Night Games. Get home after the basketball game. Because it came on Fridays, right? Yeah. yeah. Get a cup, get a uh, can of big call, can of uh, old eight hundred old English, and watch Miami. Well, Vice. you know the other good thing about Miami Vice because sometimes they didn't catch the bad guy, and I thought that was that's what really mm-hmm. made it because it you know majority of the time they did, but the one guy they couldn't catch I can't, I can't remember what his name was the character's name. And he got away oh, yeah. on the boat. Uh, Remember, as they was coming to the, uh, they were flying through the city. Mm-hmm. Well, they kept an arch nemesis. It was kind of, it was yeah, bad. yeah. I thought that was kind of. Well, dope. while y'all was watching Miami Vice, I was watching Woody Woodpecker <laughs> <laughs> and Chili Willy it? Penguin. Well, that's that's <laughs> what you know about Chili Willy. Yeah, it wow. was all before the eighties. They just were still on, and yeah. that's when the Cosby Show was on fire. Yeah. I wasn't the a big 80s? Cosby fan. No? I don't want to see a motherfucker with a... their father and I didn't know mine. I don't watch that <laughs> shit. <laughs> you all have a happy family and shit. Angry. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> I wasn't watching well, Why that? be mad at everybody else because somebody yeah. got a daddy? Yeah, because that, I'm, I was je- that's the only thing that makes me jealous. I hate seeing fathers with their daughters. I'll slap a baby out of a grown man's head. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I hate that shit. Eight five five nine six. Oh, so you fuck your happiness. You hate me, can you? Three, six, <laughs> I do. Nine, nine. Every time you see, I really don't talk to you or your daughter that much when she's around. <laughs> oh yeah, you I did like give her the side. You. <laughs> you did give her the side eye. Like, I you, did. You have your Hashtag daddy and shit. Doctor <laughs> Phil needed. Oh, I. <laughs> wow, that's dope. Yeah. Uh, oh, not, is it? Um, <laughs> that's no, dope. No, yeah. Speedy. It's kind of weird. That's but weird, uh, Speedy keeps showing me his daughter all on a screensaver. Like I don't give a fuck. And you love your daughter. I'm going to grab. Graduation and so should Let me be show you my two mad. daughters real quick. Uh, no, Mark. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go see my daughter. Prom, go to a prom. And oh, oh, the kids. oh, what are you going to do? Go- the father daughter dance? This is bullshit. <laughs> Oh, you gonna walk her down the aisle too, huh? Goodness. Don't hate me because you wasn't tucked in your bed frame. I was tucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bed frame. What? <laughs> daddy didn't tuck me in the bed frame. <laughs> that is a cold hustle, right there. We never had no daddy. Man, I miss. It. Man, I miss. Man, I miss. You know, also too was the uh, '80s fashion was swatches, mm. which I never had one. I have a swatch I- on now. I thought Everybody that was the stupidest shit. shit in the fucking world. You know, for us, the 80s was the necklace with the bubbles on the end. And if you had bubble necklaces, you were the shit at school. A bubble necklace? Yeah, the necklace with the bubbles on the end. You take them out and be blowing bubbles yeah. at recess. That, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, if you had a bubble necklace, nah, I had a shit. Uh, uh, with me, it was like I wanted a denim jacket. And then when I put the buttons on it, but my mom never let me put buttons on it. She's like, I just bought you this brand new denim jacket. You want to fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> like, but that's the style. You want to bedazzle your buttons. shit? Huh? You, wanted to bedazzle um, your now shit. you want to bedazzle your shit? Now you just got like, the, the little buttons, like little buttons that had sands on it or like Garfield. All like in the happy face. Yeah. Button, yeah. Button, button, yeah. yeah. So, so, you mean buttons. 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 That's what you said. Button. Buttons. <laughs> Leave button. her. That's Speed. how New York but- says. Buttons. Flare. But- buttons. <laughs> Why is he trying to correct me? You to know what me. else was popular? The t-shirt clips. You put your t-shirt on the side oh, and put it yeah. through the clips. Oh, no. See, no, after a while, my mom started buying me them shit. She just said, just tie the side of your shirt up. <laughs> See, I your, thought, yeah. your mother and my dad, same. Yeah, because you know what it is? My mom will give it to me. But once I fuck it up, you don't get no more. Nah. But my dad will, won't buy me shit. Nah. But my mom be like, let, let her have it. Let her enjoy it. And then I fuck it up. Okay, you can't have it no more. You can't have it no more. <laughs> You're making me look bad, bitch. <laughs> now, one year, Christmas, my dad, so we get bikes every year. That's one thing my dad made sure we got bikes every year. So we get bikes every year. One year, my dad came up with a 10-speed. We was like, what is that? <laughs> he said, it's a 10-speed. Go on outside. Now, remind you, a 10-speed don't have brakes. It has brakes, but they're on the handle. Yeah. Right. We be getting bikes. Oh. All the way up to this point. So you was rolling back. So no. So I get on the 10 speed. I'm riding it. I'm like, 
It don't have no brakes, daddy. <laughs> and I Figure crashed out. into a bush. I walked the bike home. I don't want this. Aww. <laughs> I want a bike. He's like, you, you're ungrateful, motherfuckers. I set up here and got to upgrade you and give me the motherfucker. He took all the bikes. He was gone for like That's two, how I got the scar in the middle of my He was gone for four. two days. Oh, really? <laughs> we didn't have no bikes. We was like. You didn't have no father either. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world, bitch. No, I'm playing. <laughs> well, he came back. But he took the mattress too. <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> he got, what you know about sheets? <laughs> uh, I know they fold up real nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they pillows. Yeah. <laughs> what you know about box springs, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah, a damn thing. He came back later with. with you know, first we thought we was done because yeah. there's seven of us. So if you complain, motherfucker, this is the next man up. Oh, yeah. You don't get shit. So he took all the bikes back and then he came back with regular bikes. And he's like, my dad is cool. Mm. I had a dad. That's how I got the scar in the middle of my forehead. Why? I, I got a bike and I was trying to be cool. I was like, I don't need no training wheels. <laughs> you three. I was, and I, <laughs> I, in front of my building, there was, a, like, there was trees and shit like that. And I was riding, and my, my dad let go. My mom said, don't let go yet, because she thinks she knows how to ride without training wheels, but she can't. But my dad always treated me like a boy anyway. Yeah. So he was like, nah, she's fine. She could be, she's okay. He let go, and I drove right into the tree. I didn't, I didn't know how to maneuver. I didn't know how to stare. I just kept going right into the tree. And I saw, George, George of the Jungle, George. <laughs> George <laughs> but like, it's funny, this shit that you remember, I remember. I was like, damn, it's happening. <laughs> and I can't move. Like, what do I do now once you get that? I was like, it's a pretty tree. I was like, oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. So you yeah. go wheel first. Yeah. And then over the handlebars. Yeah. Bing. Boom. What did your parents do? My mom lost her mind because I lived on the first floor. Yeah. So she could see everything that was happening. <laughs> and all well, about I, to happen. And she said, oh, she kept telling us, like, I told you. I told you. And then my dad no, just picked me up and brought me no, inside. No, she wasn't it. mad at your dad it, for letting hold you on, go. Hold on, uh, brother. Do it in your mom's voice. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, what you doing that for? <laughs> she, you don't listen. What the fuck? You don't listen. <laughs> I, know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. So she, you I come know. in and she put a little rag on your forehead? Yeah. Or what they would do is uh, if you have a knot on your forehead, she'll take a quarter. And you push the quarter on your forehead to put the swelling down. What the fuck? I've never every the copper. Look, and while you were screaming, yeah, screaming. You know, I'm sorry. No, my mom said I always took it like a G. I never, I never. Like that's why I have all these scars on my forehead. I've never had stitches. I've never been you to the think? hospital. Yeah, because I was like, yo, I'm not going. Like quarter head. Everything I've got, my dad said she'll be all right. Put a band-aid on it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, every picture you see of me as a kid, I have like a band-aid or some shit on. <laughs> so, so, so imagine if your dad was smart guy's dad. Oh, shit. <laughs> 855-960-3699. Uh-huh. It's Man, I Miss the 80s. You what know, was your favorite TV show in the 80s? You know what I miss, man? Double Dare. Tell me that. You did not want to go on Double Dare. I remember that. You could slide. It's a physical fuck. challenge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What was Double Dare? They was fucking. You never game had show? Double Oh, my double God. Dare. Remember with Mark Summers, the host? Mark Summers was the best game show host in the world. Ever. It was a show on Nickelodeon. It was one of the first game shows on Nickelodeon. Okay. And on, on, it would be like, let's say Kanisha's family and my family. Yeah. We going against each other. And then they'll ask you questions like, uh, you have to answer a question about math. And then if you get it wrong, you'll be like, Pat, like, and you'll be like, Dare. And then she'll be like, they, she get it wrong, she'll be like, Dare. And you're like, do you double Dare? Fuck. Uh, yeah, I yeah, double Dare. <laughs> it's a physical challenge. <laughs> so then you'd have to do, like, some shit. Like, you have to get, pull like. pull that one up. Oh, man. It's the greatest show. Like, Somebody pull that it's shit. It's like a physical uh, t- uh, family feud, but you can get slimed in the kids. It's you like two parents it. and the kids. I would, what the fuck? And, and you have it. all types of Because, because, because at, the end, at the end of the game, at the end of the. Uh, like the end of the game whatever like let's say my like, Double Dare was in the 80s yeah like let's say my family won right TV show? and then you'd have to go through a whole obstacle course and then the obstacle course like there's 1 through 17 and each obstacle you have to get a flag from each uh, physical event like one will be like they have like this big giant pizza that's like the size of this table I remember that and then they will hide the flag in the pizza but mind you just think of a really big human pizza so you have to go through the sauce and you're throwing sausages and you pepperoni. gotta and you gotta find the flag the only way you can move on to the next event is if you grab the flag no, I never so, and, you, and you have to do it like in a that. certain amount of time if you do it in a certain time you win the grand prize and it's called what again double, double dare. dare i'm gonna look that up double dare right. is the greatest fucking show ever now how you feel 
felt about the Cosby's is the same way I felt about I hated Full House because I said what? these motherfuckers because they always had a happy ending and <laughs> shit was found. Oh why? Wow. The because they got a happy, happy ending. Because because it was never a happy ending in my house. This is a black house, uh, and I was like, fuck. So why the fuck you hating on her because she don't like the Cosby's because she ain't have no fucking dad? Well. It ain't her show. Touche, motherfucker. <laughs> I hated happy. I hated the. Uh, you hated Full, Full House? Oh, my God. They didn't always, ha- but they didn't always have a happy ending. Their mom yes, died. They, I they didn't, didn't know no that. Mom. They didn't have no mom. Well, I didn't say they, they never talked about it, though. They, they did. They, they did. did. They yes, they did. They talked about it because Michelle would be like, do you remember, mommy? Like, yeah. they used to talk well, that about that would be she want to get out of trouble. She said, well, no, 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 no. Who did the two babies belong to? Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bob Saget. Bob Saget. He what? had three kids. It was yeah. three girls. Well, what happened to his wife? Or the- she got. She died. She, she died after she had the baby. She died. And she had the twins. No. There was no. T- well, you didn't know well, there were twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Off, offset. That's right. I'm sorry. Okay, so, I'm sorry. so, so, right. okay. Now, so what happened to? Okay, so and, Bob Saget and, and, and then Uncle Jesse was, was his, he? he was his wife's brother. That's his brother-in-law. Mm-hmm. So he moved in to help take care of the kids. So and what, then, where was his girl? Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca, yeah. From the morning show. She yeah. was Bob Saget's co-host. And they fell in love. Yeah, and then they ended up having the twin boys. Yeah. And then the other white dude was their friend, uh, was Bob Saget's childhood friend. Which, uh, which is... Uh, 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 Joey. Uh, Joey. Uh, uh, um, Grace. What's his name? Um, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> I used to walk around doing Dave Coulier. Dave okay. Coulier. Because I never understood okay, the boy, fucking show. That's yeah. probably part because of it. Because since his wife died, his two friends came to help him raise his kids. I yeah. hated that fucking show. I love that fucking I show. Hate, I love different strokes, but I hated that fucking show. <laughs> now the world don't move. Yeah, call in. We want to know what your... I always thought what, you, li- what, what was your favorite TV show? Man, Ooh. I miss what TV Ooh. show in the 80s. Mine was Golden Girls, too. Camp on the water. We, we hold you in our hearts. And when we think about you, it makes me want to fart. What, what is that? <laughs> Camp on the water. Go to NOLA, Fresno, California. Okay. Remember, when we come to you, make sure you say the keywords roll out, and then uh, we'll have some fun with you. NOLA out of Fresno. What it do, NOLA? What's going on? Let me, hear, let me hear that roll out. Roll out. Roll, roll out. out. Now, what is camp? Well, Salute Your Shorts salute was the your name shorts. of this show. That's what it was called. I couldn't yeah. think of the name. Yeah. And that was your salute favorite show? Shorts. That was your favorite yeah. show? Yes, indeed. I love that show. And there was a little redhead boy on there that was hilarious. I can't yes. think of his name either. I've never heard of that show. Really? It's about wow. kids being at summer camp, and I always got sent away to summer camp, so I love that shit. And I never got to go to camp, so I was living through these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to summer camp? Uh, I went to a little ghetto camp. I live in Fresno. We don't have the best school system. Yeah. So <laughs> we went to a little one-week camp. Oh, no. <laughs> one-week camp? What the fuck is one-week yeah. camp in D.C.? One-week-ass camp. One week. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what's your throwback song, baby girl? Throwback song. Oh, put me on the spot from the eighties. Yeah, anything from Any the eighties. Oh, from Whitney. Yeah, I love Whitney. Oh, Whitney was. She a was show. super skinny. I want to dance. Thank you for the phone call. I used to love Whitney Houston in the morning, and I used to wake up and dance to it. All right, well, listen, we'll help you get your groove on in just a second yeah. here. Thank you for the phone call. Fox Hill Radio, we want to know your throwback. I never heard of that show. I never, I never well, heard you gotta of that. Well, you got to understand, this is when, this is our, me, me and Kanisha's generation, where Nick and Knight and Nick, <laughs> no, seriously, because this is when But Nick, it just started, Nick and Knight, all that stuff. I mean, well, this is when Nickelodeon first got its first, like, you know, just like uh, things we can't do on television. Man. There was a show, that was the first show that ever brought, introduced slime. Mm-hmm. So that's when you was like, what the fuck is this Nickelodeon shit? Mm-hmm. And it was the first show that actually had like a kid cast of sketches. Yeah. And then they would, uh, somebody would fuck out of that and they throw slime on you. If you say the word of the day, you can't yeah. say it and you get slime. But yeah, that's when like uh, uh, Nickelodeon got popping. They had Salute Your Shorts, uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Ooh, that uh, was scary. Are You Afraid of the Dark was the scariest show ever as a kid because it was like kid it was like kid camp stories but these stories were scary as scary fuck that I'm cold I'll never now, forget that shit it wasn't you, meatballs in the 80s uh, when movie I ain't got to the movies yet movie. movies is on fire oh, geez, yeah. uh, 855-960-3699 we'll come back with more Man I Miss we want to know what what movies did you miss in the 80s man I got a lot remember this oh no no back it up back it up back it up, back it up, back it up. you gotta get that shit right I've been watching uh-huh. I think of you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What's that nigga? Yeah, you gonna hear? That's called a, the 
snake. And you had to be careful on this song because you want to be sitting there going, be your lady. Oh, shit. Yeah. All day, all night, I think of you. I want to be your lady, baby. Please don't roll your belly to this song, too. I don't have a belly. I got abs. Oh! Oh, you, got you, absolute, not, you got absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Absent abdominals. <laughs> it's uh, the Royal Life Show right here on the Fox Hill. Uh, we're talking about, man, I miss the 80s. TV shows. And somebody hit you and said, fuck yo, what's going They said, uh, <laughs> he said, Double Dead wasn't shit. Double Dead was cool, but it's not better than the Legends of the Hempel, Hidden Temple, though. I, I don't even remember that shit. Oh, oh no. It's another uh, uh, Nickelodeon uh, show. So you call in and let us know what's your favorite uh, Man I Miss TV show back in the 80s. We want to know. 855-960-3699 is the number to call into when we come to you. Make sure you say those keywords roll out in the building out of Georgia. We got Rome on the phone. Rome, what it do? Roll out. Roll, roll out. out. What's good, Roman? What was, what was your, uh, How you doing? We good, man. Man, you miss what TV show in the 80s? Man, I miss Johnny Quest. Really? <laughs> I, yeah. never got, I never got a Johnny Quest. He used to come right on. And Haji, name. which was very racist. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker Haji. <laughs> <laughs> the fact his name was Haji is racist. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you, like how old were you then at that time? How old was I? Yeah. Well, I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> so how you, so, man, man, man. So how you missed that shit? So you really missed it. <laughs> <laughs> man. I watched, I watched all that stuff growing up. Like, oh, okay, okay. That's all we had in our, 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 our house. My mama said we ain't watching the new shit. <laughs> <laughs> watching yeah. her shit. You for the man, you miss my shit. Sit down. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Thank you for the phone call, man. What's your throwback song? My throwback song, I have to say, Super Free. <laughs> yeah, you a you a old soul. I love that brother. Thank you for the phone call. Mama kept him caged. That was the, that was, that was the music her mom was playing. While was playing. <laughs> yeah. That's Mama, what's this curly in my head? <laughs> she better wear a Jerry curl. <laughs> On the phone out of California, we got D. D. What it do? Roll out. Roll, Roll out. out. And what's your uh, right. man? I miss what TV show in the eighties? All right, TV show. Uh, I was. Shoot, all the 80s. I was born in 80s, so I had the whole 80s as a childhood. So I say Thundercats. Oh! <laughs> Thunder, <laughs> Thundercats. The Thundercats was cold. As far as the actual TV show, I think uh, what I used to watch, uh, Family Matters, I think, came out at the end. Yeah, you're uh, right. I was on. You know what's so weird yeah. about those kind of shows? They all was doing good. Family yeah. matters, family ties. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anything with a family in it. Yeah, they was doing, <laughs> doing Family <laughs> ties was a great show. Was absolutely f- doing fantastic. And I see your throwback song is either Lauryn Hill or D'Angelo. No, Lauryn no, Hill no, and no. D'Angelo. And D'Angelo. I, I knew that. I didn't put Nothing even on. matters with them, with them snaps. Oh, man. It's, Nothing it's even matters. So, so you get caught up when you hear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my song right there. And uh, the movie, since we're on the movies. Uh, the whole Beverly Hills Cop series. Just take all of them. And that's okay. when they started in the 80s, too. Even yep. though I thought I thought as they went along, they got a little cartoonish. Yeah. Or oh, the third one, yeah. The third one was. Yeah. The yeah. third one. The third one was horrible. But that yeah. first one was, man. That first Sag. One. First two. The first two. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. my man stole the scene. And you know Eddie was not happy. Eddie has, he has a problem when people steal movies from it. In the sense of they steal the scene. And he stole the scene. When when uh, it was a dude and uh, Damon Wayans character. Oh yeah, he's like, take, take these. Bananas. Oh yeah, 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 take these bananas. <laughs> but yeah, sir- yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Serge, he was on our Perfect Strangers. Yeah, that's how he got Perfect Strangers. Bronson Pinchot. Oh wow, yeah, he got he got it from that that particular. Balky one Batakamis. Yeah. yeah, what was his name? Balky Batakamis. <laughs> Thank you for the phone call. Fucking yeah. hilarious. That's another 80s show. That's another 80s yeah, show. No, yeah, Perfect Strangers. I love that shit. Dude, I remember episodes when they taught him. When he taught him how to use a check, and they told him, say, you don't need money, you can write a check. And he just started buying everything. <laughs> Belky, he buying antique furniture and shit. <laughs> Belky, where you get the money for this? Don't need money, cousin Letty. I write check. <laughs> <laughs> and I was cracking up. Dude. Yeah, he that got hilarious. that from Beverly Hills. Oh, uh, yeah. Sage. He was. It's such fucking ridiculous. 
silence. <laughs> <laughs> but Eddie always, even in. Uh, so in, he don't uh, like when you steal the, the scene. Espresso with the lemon twist. Yeah, even, with the lemon twist. Even in uh, Harlem Nights. Um, Robin Harris character, they said was way more funnier than what oh, yeah, everybody cut saw. All that he shit cut out. it all out. Cut all that shit because out. Eddie's thing is now you're not going to do like you did with Spike Lee because uh, Robin stole fucking uh, do, the right uh, do the right thing. He <laughs> fucked like that. Man, when they got to that scene with, with them two, with those guys oh, sitting, God. because that was in Robin's wheelhouse because he could bag. Yeah. So that so when, when um, Spike wrote that, he wrote it perfectly. Mm -hmm. So they, and you know, I heard from all the comedians who were on the set for uh, Harlem Nights. They said, nah, nigga, Robin Harris killed that shit. Yeah. But they put all that shit on the cutting floor. Wow. Eddie was like, nah, motherfucker, that's not happening. Yeah. But why? Mm. Wouldn't you want to have the best no. movie no. possible? He's that. supposed to, he's the star. He's he's star so, shine. but as a star, you got to learn how to handle. Nah. Uh, I do it. Very well. He, yeah, he, you can always now, cut our mics off. Plus, he, direct, he directed that. Uh, yeah, he directed that. So for him directing, that was his first time directing. He wanted him to come up. Same thing with Boomerang. Uh, Martin was upset that he got cut out so much in uh, Boomerang. Ah, and that was that was Eddie's man. comeback. And Boomerang, Boomerang was great. Oh. Boomerang was fucking classic. Yes, oh my god! He said, it's a, he said, "Why are we playing a pool on a green? Because like the earth, right? Why the game over when the white ball put the black ball in the hole? <laughs> put all the color balls in. I remember they said uh, in uh, life, you know, uh, Eddie came out one time and told I think guy. Uh, what am I gonna say? But one of the comments said. Uh, and he walked out and said, all right, only me and Martin are going to be funny today. Yeah. Told, told all of them. Wow. Bernie and all of them. Yeah. Anthony Anderson was in that movie, too. Yeah, Anthony, Bar Bernie Mac. Great guy for the movie. Great yeah. for the movie. Big on Bear. the phone. Rest in peace, Big, Big Bear. We'll get this one in right quick. On the phone, uh, Tawan out of Buffalo. Hello. Hey, roll out. Roll, roll out. out. Give it to me fast. What what man I miss? What, what TV show? Oh, man. I'm going to tell you like this. Hey, remember um, Spencer for Hire? Yes. yes. Carl Weathers. Yes. Then uh, your man Hawk who tried to um, set it off Carl like Weathers. Shaft. Man, when he spun off, every, we were like, dude, I'm going home. Yes. I'm going to go watch Bless my you. man. Uh, what was, it was Hawk. Man, Hawk, man yeah. called Hawk. Yeah. Man called Hawk, yeah. He was just Hawk. Remember that? Yeah. He was Michael last night. Just, it's Hawk. He, man, rolled around the street. Rolled around a Porsche out there in Vegas. Robert Yerger. Yeah, doing the tag on thing. But what kind of car did man call Hawk have? Oh, no, Hawk, he had the, um, he had, he had, a, um, he had a caddy. No, he had the BMW 6 Series. No, he had the 6 Series BMW. He had the 6 Series BMW. That's the first BMW. time I saw that shit. Yeah. My mom was hot. My mom was hot when they when they canceled that show. Thank you for the phone call, brother. He was hot. I was hot in the world. <laughs> yeah, because that was one of the first times you saw a real black man just handling yeah. business And that's why my TV. mom was like, that's why they cut the show. Man, because of a man called Hawk. <laughs> you don't know about this. Tonight. tonight, baby, baby, please. Oh, you know what it is. It's the rollout show right here on the Fox Hole. Yeah, top, yeah. top of the hour. Yeah, yeah. Where we're supposed to be right now, you ain't there. Fuck it. Just stay with us. <laughs> we got you. Here we go, y'all. Yeah. Roll out. Get your ass up. Roll out. Out the bed. Roll out. Get your ass up. Roll out. Out your mama house. Roll out. Get your ass up. Roll out. Out the bed. Roll out. Get your ass up. Uh, out your mama you house. On the West Coast. You're on the West Side, though. Hey. Yeah. That's how we do it over here on the West Side. It ain't the normalies where I grew up, bitches. Yeah. Hey. 90 degrees. Don't give a fuck where you at. It's always popping here. Yeah, yeah it is. California. Yeah. Knows how to party yeah. till 2 a.m. California. Oh, that's true. Knows how to party. All over the city. In the city. Hey. The city of Milpitas. Hey. What? Northern In County. In the city. City of Fremont. All right. Not the hot In the city. city. City of where, y'all? City of Compton. Yeah. 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 We keep it rocking. Am I right there? I, I want to do this right quick. I want to welcome everybody to the Wild Wild West. One, two, three. Uh, Kick uh. it. Oh! Yeah. Let me see your spirit fingers, dude. Yeah, I, I you slipped like on the No, you changed it up. Now you be mashed potato in and you mix it in the spirit. mixing bowl and... Now he loses move, man. What happened, man? Come on. You done changed, man. You got Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> now you got a morning show. You don't do spirit fingers. <laughs> uh, him will always be beefing. I think he loses his way. Fox Hill Radio, <laughs> Sirius 96. <laughs>
early in the morning. Yeah, it is. It's the funniest four hours of your life. Yeah. And your what day. you do with the other 20 is your business. Why life? Why not just take a day at a time? Life, 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 <laughs> life, life, life. Because you might die tomorrow, so shit. Yeah. <laughs> Get these first four in. Yeah. Let us help you out. In the building all the way, all way from Washington, <laughs> all way from Washington, D.C., show your love for Mark yeah. Howard. Don't show it too fast, because when they took Smart Guy in the ambulance, I seen him down there talking to the ambulance driver like, what? I'm not even supposed to be here that long, but I'm not turning in my pass, and I'm going to still do the show. I said, well, shit. Hey, Mark, baby, don't give a fuck. That ain't true. Mark, baby, don't give a fuck. Yes, I do. Mark, baby, don't give a fuck. Yes, I do, y'all. Mark, baby, don't give a fuck. That ain't true. Mark, baby, don't. Mark, baby, don't. Mark, baby, don't give a fuck. You don't give. I don't get no damn ambulance. Them motherfuckers cost too much. Ambulance? I hate when people say ambulance. Ambulance. That's what I, I know. How do you say ambulance? Ambulance. It's ambulance. 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 You ambulance. said it perfectly. Ambulance. Yeah. 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 Ambulance. 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 And I mail my shit in an envelope. Bubble on the ding dong. I'm a loop. <laughs> he's still on our show? Somebody mute his mic so we can keep the sugar. No problem. Thank, Thank you. Before we get cut off there. In the building, all the way from New York, Brooklyn. Yeah. Show your love for Lourdes Gonzalez, the Panamanian bombshell. Brooklyn, stand the fuck up. We go hard. Brooklyn, we go hard. 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 We go hard. B R O O K L Y N. Come again. B R O O K L Y N. Come again. This is Black Hoodie Rap. This nigga's a genius. I love what she do it. <laughs> I love it. It's a genius. Hey, turn my mic back. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. It felt, so, it felt normal. normal. Can no, say I used to help you out with the come again. You ain't got... You know what? <laughs> Man, mute, again. <laughs> mute again. Mute again. <laughs> no, what happened was Kanisha leaned over and... Titties hit the thing. No, Come I'm on. Bad. Get your titties out the way, Kanisha. <laughs> they ain't tucked in, in the, the building. Day. All the way from the state of Washington. Yeah. Still on the one yard line. Fuck Can't you. cross the line. And Show your love right? for Seattle's own. Hey, time to wake up, y'all. Hey. Hey. Oh, wake up. And I see that my sister is already dressed. She said, I'm going to run and go get my stamps. Watch the show. The one such as my check. Had it up to the mailman. Go through the mail. They put it up in their pockets. When they hand it nine to nine, they give me enough for full day. And with no fucking project, read us. Hop on the tip to the clip. Ready to get up when it made thugs. Gotta catch that buzz. I gotta get there. Play a play a holla, holla. Same care got much to offer with it on weed on 93. Now some dollars. Oh. Get a bag of dope and a quarter. Oh. 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 Most of my niggas got the same. And we gonna roll it all up the smoke. And that reefer hydro. No undercut. So fuck the popo. Y'all gotta okay. get it on fuck the okay. popos. <laughs> <laughs> Put it through the alley. End of the Madley. Up at the second of sundown. No sprint from January, November, December. Remember the first of the month. That give me turn. I'm ready to do the show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm her hype man. Yes. Fuck the mother two hours. Hours. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> it's all about that bone thugs, bitch. <laughs> also, do give mad love to our DJ, DJ Always in Your Ears. Always. Always, always in Your ear. ear. The, the Silver Fox that rocks. rocks. And known in Japan as... DJ over there. there. You DJ no, Pacquiao, yeah, right? DJ Pacquiao, you over there. And on the cameras, we got... C Parnell 45 at gmail.com and Cool Guy P on Instagram. Hey, fuck him, he ain't get my car. Now, kicking it with here with us in the lair. In the lair. In the lair. Two brothers that we seen, seen uh, last week, uh, a yes. couple weeks ago, at, uh, at uh, Lou Nail's birthday, uh, birthday party. Yes. The group. Yeah. Second to none is in the oh. building. Oh. Yeah. Compton's on. All the way from the hood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up, fellas? What's up, man? Morning, morning. Just Spady. What, what happened? You the man. <laughs> <laughs> Second the police is in the knocked building. Knocked on my door looking for you. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. And Child you, support court. Wait, wait, yeah. And you came straight here? Oh, no, this? I ain't tell him shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying shit, but follow me. <laughs> I don't know where you at, but I'm supposed to meet him. I've been saying if I want to go follow a nigga, you might. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, fellas. Yes. Uh, Damn, what's been up, man? Us. What's been Hey man, we we blessed, man. We're yeah. still here doing this shit, you know, twenty plus years. Yeah. It's, it's been twenty? 
Yes, sir. 20, 25 almost. Gosh. Yeah, we're so young. I know. It's a blessing. <laughs> yeah. That's why we second to none. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 no, like every guest, they was amazed. Did y'all know that Kanisha was actually in Bone Thugs and Harmony? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she's funny bone. In her own mind. Funny in her own mind. mind. <laughs> she was in. <laughs> I'm going to clean the bone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Shit. Now. You get ready to drop down. We're going to take you back. Go yeah. back and back, back. You're about to drop. Tell me the first thing you bought when the album dropped. You get that first paycheck. What y'all buy? Shit. Um, <laughs> I think it was a plane ticket up out this. <laughs> <laughs> I did not wait for them homies. <laughs> Shit, I remember uh, when we first, uh, you know, I, I, I had hit the gate from high school. Okay. What high school? Centennial. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I right heard my corner. dad yeah. one time. Patches. Yeah. 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 Um, Patch, yes. And I remember us on our way to New York. Damn. You know? And so because the, the song comes out and you hear the song on the radio and I know everybody's going crazy, like fucking bananas. Man, it was a blessing, man. It was overwhelming. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cool. Yeah. We was young as fuck. We was probably what, 17, 18? 17, 18. Yeah. And y'all like best friends high school? What? Nah, we actually Blood cousins. cousins. Shut up. You know, everybody said, this is my cousin. Yeah, no, so cousins. Just, we're relatives. We're oh, cousins. Right now, if I, you know, if something happened to me, I can get a transfusion for him. Oh, okay. from, oh you know, there transfusion. we go. Yeah, transfusion. <laughs> yeah, and an I'll envelope. I'll see y'all first. <laughs> 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 Take and the Call the Amalam. It ain't even no question. Uh, I'm going to need that kidney, Pippin. <laughs> no, his, his, his mother and my mom are sisters. Yeah, oh, oh, wow. that's that's yeah, only, that's first cousin. Like, you can only ask that shit for first cousin. Second cousin, like, nah, I don't really. Nah, we real. We skipped one. Put the two first cousins together and made second to none. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. I like okay. that. Mm-hmm. That was cute. Look, 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 nah, nah, that ain't cute. We <laughs> men. Oh, <laughs> oh that was sexy than a motherfucker. That was, that was, that was the <laughs> See, these real motherfuckers. That's like, it. somebody told me, oh, you got some cute shoes on. I'm taking the motherfuckers off. I ain't mm-hmm. wearing these motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. You tell me my shit is cute. Tell me my shit off. It's too hot. Them some cute little leopard glasses you got on. <laughs> <laughs> now you won't see no more. <laughs> can't read nothing else. Y'all got to talk now. <laughs> hey, listen, man. You wear them mugs. You know what I mean? It's cougar season. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, Speedy, put them cute-ass glasses on. <laughs> so so how did your bitch count go up, though? That's to tell you when when because you're in high school when the when the song hit. Well, no, we had we had hoes before that. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. We was second to none before yeah. the record. Oh, yeah. it was a thing called underground tapes, the real tapes, cassette tapes. Yeah, with, with, you know, yeah. yeah those. Yeah. So since the late '80s, uh-huh. it's been cracking. Damn. Ninety, ni- late '90, the world got exposed to it, but mm. the city, even Chicago, Atlanta, the mixtapes, and everybody yeah. traveling during the '80s. Uh huh. Yeah, we was already out there. Oh, so it was just a blessing to get to the professional level to where we can get the exposure. Uh-huh. You know, and that Second. sealed it in. Damn. Now, who uh, wrote, wrote the song or did all this? The, he wrote about? what he said. That's D, and I Hilarious. wrote what I said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for real? So y'all like took y'all own like you know, you handled your verse, nigga, and I'm handling my verse. Yeah, we. Yeah. we, we but we, there was ever a point where you was like, you know, you didn't like his verse and he didn't like your verse. No, nah, I mean, we had points where, like, I need a word. He'd say, the. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to use the hell out of this, the. Yeah, the, 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 the. <laughs> That's why we cousins, man. That's why we cousins. <laughs> I'm going to rip on this, the, for a minute. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, in all seriousness, uh, with KK, you know, he, he started off rapping first, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, and I was DJing. My, my pops had bought me some DJ equipment, so okay. I was really going to start off as a DJ. Okay. And he was just going to spit the rhyme, you know. Yeah. And, Eric B. Rockin. Yeah, we end up yeah. start rapping together. You know, you know the music we would do, uh-huh. and we'll sit there and just. So you doing like yeah. all the shows around the city and, and at high school? If they have talent show, y'all doing uh, all that? Now, junior high school it started. Yeah. We all started off as DJs. Okay, yeah. you know, like he was okay. saying, he showed me how to DJ. Mm-hmm. You know, we share our skills. Man, okay. you master that, I master this, and then we'll teach each other. So that way we'll master all angles of it. Fucking dope, man. Yeah, I, you know I, I, I mean? always, you know, been in music, uh, mm-hmm. even since uh, junior high, mm-hmm. you know, in the band. Uh, in elementary, we had a, a a group in Compton was called the Compton Boys Choir. <laughs> Wait a minute. And yeah. old, old, <laughs> I'm telling you some real <laughs> shit. Yeah, had a yeah. choir I don't want y'all listen, to come singing in my dough. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, well, I mean, let me tell you this about Jesus. I, I mean, <laughs> that, that, that program <laughs> saved a lot of lives. I'm, I'm sure I mean? it did. It, they took out... Um, a student from each, you know, maybe several students from each school mm-hmm. 
from elementary to high school mm -hmm. and whoever can sing they'll put them in that choir and mm. you know we we traveled we did pbs and Damn. you know christmas you know Damn. so that's we you know it started off early so you, you were know? singing Singing like a motherfucker, still singing, you know. Mm -hmm. Love singing, you it's know. A tenor, bass. Do you, do you want all the way to the choir, you know. Yeah. You know, our, our grandmother was a pastor. Just so you, you know, know he's been trying to get in somebody's group forever. So don't let him so sing a, or rap or anything if around. You need him. a third to none. You, can <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you the none. <laughs> Y'all be none. Y'all be second. Be first and second. Hey man, it's be some days we don't want to go out. You know, <laughs> you can go out and fill it. You bring all the money back, though. <laughs> Speedy said, "Ho." <laughs> That's right. Y'all can't go back there. <laughs> so when you first told people that you guys were going to start getting this group and do the like, what was the response from family members or people around you? It was very supportive. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. That's yeah. dope. I mean, they really didn't have too much. It was, I guess it was like another thing, like, now they go again. Oh, you, know, okay. with something, yeah. you know what I mean? Because y'all was always hanging out together. We was from the garage, yeah. in his garage, KK yeah. Garage, listening to uh, Rich Pryor albums. Man, okay. you know what that. I mean? That Playing dominoes? You play yeah. dominoes? Hell yeah. Play right in the front yard. Are. Right in the front yard. We're at the table. Be careful. That's what I do. Well, you know, I stayed on Spruce Street right there in Compton, exactly so it, it was a dead end, so... You wasn't coming down there anyway. No, no. Ah! I might have went down Caldwell, but I wouldn't have went up on the street. Yeah. <laughs> Second to none in the building. Now, we've been talking about uh, Man I Miss in, in the 80s. What TV show you missed in the 80s that you wish, like, damn, I wish I could see that shit again? Shit, I, I watch it on Netflix and, uh, well, Hulu. <laughs> Which Cosby one? show, man. I try to tell her she is hating on the Cosby like show. The Cosby, Cosby show was fucking great. I don't great, care. Man. I didn't want to see no good ass father. I didn't have no father, so I don't want to see nobody know. else with no father. No <laughs> hate. Nah, nah. I, I, I can relate to that. But I, 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 I ain't gonna hate. I guess my, my favorite show was NBA on NBC. Mm. Oh, that's right. That's really back in when yeah, it first I'm started. A basketball. Fan. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, what's your throwback song? Uh, anything Earth 25 but Can't Hide Love that's mm, the way of the world mm. yeah. see my mom used to bump can't that can't stuck with that one see, you really do play dominoes cause that's domino shit right there you just <laughs> that's domino that. music I eat oh, dominoes too. you don't understand <laughs> hilarious <laughs> <laughs> so does he <laughs> I miss when dominoes was 30 minutes or it was free if they didn't get it to you 30 minutes or less that shit used to be free remember that now that's some shit I miss, miss. cause you'll wait two hours for a pizza and they'll give a fuck right? <laughs> <laughs> this is some magnificent oh, cheese yeah. it's taking 45 <laughs> minutes to deliver <laughs> <laughs> now you guys are still on the road, still doing your thing. Yes, yes. Uh, how are the fans receiving you still to these days? Just streaming love. love. Yeah, you know, it's just to see us still doing our thing mm -hmm. and yes. seeing that we're not beat down, yeah, and yeah. toe up, and yeah. Yeah. like wow, we just, you, you, like you we just got off a of like crack pipe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, how did y'all avoid that? Because you know, everybody. Like, I mean, I don't say everybody, but usually in the in this business, they assume, "Oh, nigga, you want this?" Because it'll run up on you. You don't even know it half the time. Temptation is deep. I mean, you know, we always had a. <laughs> I always had a thing. You know, my mm. principles. You know, never smoke anything that melts. I'm <laughs> 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 gangster with this shit. You know what I mean? You know, I you probably yeah, sold it. Yeah. You, you gotta put that day, on a T-shirt. Never you put smoke that, anything yeah. that melts. Never smoke anything that put melts. That, Dude, you put that on a t-shirt, you would sell a gang yeah. of them. Come on, yes. Speedy, we're going to sell that shit. Man. Yes. <laughs> but Never I mean, smoke anything that matters. I mean, we've been prayed over, man, you okay. know, since we was little kids, you know what I mean? Mom and yeah. them said, we got y'all. Yeah. You know, and, fuck it up. And that's what it is, you know? And, you know, we not no goody, goody two shoes, mm -hmm. but you know, you know right from wrong. Yeah, we know right from wrong. Yeah, got you know common sense to know better. Yeah. Than, I ain't doing that right there. Look, <laughs> if it melts. Nah. I don't smoke that. Only no, thing I'm melting that. is ice cream. <laughs> there you go. With that though. But other than there that, you go. nothing that melts. <laughs> now, any new stuff we should be looking for? Yeah. Cop the music. Oh, we got it? We got it? Yeah, that's the new album right there. All right, Cop always. the music. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah. And it's out now? Yeah. yeah iTunes on all the major uh, digital outlets. Uh, right. we, we put this together ourselves. We're doing it independent. Oh, that's now. When you say independent, you talking about literally everything, packaging, the whole from nine, yeah, from ground Whoa, up. Whoa, yeah. that's dope. That's yeah, dope. that's how you get Production, your money. Pictures, yeah. everything. I'm playing yeah. that. Now, what song are we gonna play? Let's cop the music right here in the background. So y'all doing self-contained for real? Been that way. Listen, let's go get this now. Hell yeah. Oh, gray head, granny ain't here no more. 
She drink herself dead at the liquor store. Some tasty cocaine and they want some more. I'm talking her titty oh, this is dope. This on iTunes? Yeah. Yeah. Now, what is the when when? Because I hear that a lot about uh, we independent. Like I know you're saying you guys do everything. I mean, like literally everything. Just yeah, coming out of your distribution pocket. Distribution, everything. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. The difference is this, the difference is this time. You know, me and Kay sat down, and 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 we took a hold of our own project. We mm -hmm. didn't go knock on nobody's door and say, "Hey, can you give us some distribution? Mm -hmm. Can you help us with this?" Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, we we gathered up some producers, mm -hmm. KK Sun Boomer, Damn, he produced. Let's do, let's do. Uh, I produce, mm -hmm. and we use several other you know good producers. Mm -hmm. um, what's the name? Uh, please forgive me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll shout it out. Yeah, we'll no think way. of it's it. On but, it's on yeah, now. but you know we put it together right in the living room. You know what I mean? Oh, and, and went and mastered it and everything. So. That's what it is, man. That's dope. Go ahead. I love. Well, we got to play artists and answers. We yeah, have to okay, play right. that. So uh, you're the artist. We want answers. We'll give you three people to choose from. You can either say how you met them, or if you have a funny story or anything about them, and you can choose. So on the list, I have Tupac, Easy E, Jodeci. <laughs> Tupac. That's, that's, too that's easy. crazy. Okay. That's too <laughs> easy. Go for um, all three of them. I was shit. Well, tell, we want to hear some of these stories. You go first, D. <laughs> I had a uh, my my. I think it was my 21st birthday. Something well, twenty like first birthday party, mm. and it was in Carson. Never forget it. Some of my homies put it together for me. Carson, Carson Community, Community Center. Center. I know exactly where it is. Yeah. And this nigga walked up in there by himself. Pop, pop. Yeah, came in there and partied with us like a motherfucker and left. <laughs> <laughs> no entourage, no nothing. Like I'm here in this bitch. Yeah. So you know. He was the realest dude, man. You know Damn. what I mean? He was yeah, really a real video. dude. You yeah. know, walked in there, no entourage, didn't, you know, turned up, you know, didn't, wasn't scared to grab a lady, wasn't scared to kick it, you know. Yeah. I admired him. I, yeah. You know, I was like, man, that's that's what's up. That's dope as fuck. Oh, I, I love mind. that. Who else you say? Uh, Easy E, Jodeci. Jodeci. Oh, tell him about Jodeci. Oh, uh, man. Before Jodeci really hit the scene, when they was doing, they moving around and uh -huh. all that in promotion tour, we were actually doing shows together. Uh -huh. it, it would sound funny not to, to say Jodeci was opening up for us and we was opening up for Jody doing back to back shows like yeah. that. Uh -huh. So, first meeting, uh, it was it was funny. It was actually them trying to rap and us singing. <laughs> <laughs> he sang so, yeah. well, you, uh, Hey Barry White I'm Barry Black <laughs> don't, don't get it twisted <laughs> Yeah but we got down We we the Joe to see a rap, a rap world Yeah <laughs> Oh I love funny. it And then Easy Easy um, When After you know um, Dre left Ruthless mm -hmm. Easy came and reached out to Second and None and DJ Quick. Okay. He wanted Quick to produce do the and tracks right. uh -huh. and he wanted us to uh, write. Damn. And the last memory that I had when me and Easy was rolling on, uh, I think it was Florence. We went to the uh, Hamburg stand, got out, and he had his pistol on him and I had my pistol on me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Ain't and no it was running like, up, motherfucker. Yeah, and it wasn't no running up, but yeah. it was just like, okay, dude is ground. You know, he's from Compton. We never yeah. got a chance to meet him. You oh, know okay. what I mean? And that was the first time we met him. You know uh -huh. what I mean? But, you know, like back in the days, by him being on the Crip side and we was on the Blood side, mm -hmm. you know, it wouldn't have happened like that. Yeah, yeah. But right. you know, it's, me, it's, know. It's, that's yeah. just a it's a good thing that music bring people together. Yes, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean, and that's that's what happened. Damn. You know, rest in peace, my nigga. Yeah. What about Snoop? Yeah, uh, Snoop. We did some shows with Snoop, but we did them via DJ Quick. You know, mm -hmm. on his nah, ticket. I, okay. I wouldn't say that. Cause yeah. I first met Snoop mm -hmm. actually downtown at the Mayan. I was in the club one night and I knew, DLC, I DLC, Mayan. the doc. Yeah. Everybody yeah. The DLC was like, hey. I want you to meet somebody. And it was turned out it was Snoop. He was like, man, he finna come through. He, he gonna be tight. Yeah. You know, so me, DLC, and Snoop was talking in the Mayan Theater. And after that, the, I think it was the day after or something, during that weekend, he came on Peach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when we first met Snoop. Wasn't yeah. no, <laughs> he came on Peach, no other Peach Street in uh, Compton over there. Uh, in, in, in Fruit Town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, uh, I know where that is. Boy. They had him. Uh, they had him. You know, over there. And my homeboy was like, "Hey, man, we got old boy over here. Mm. You know what y'all want us to do with him?" I was like, "Don't do nothing to him. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> let, let his family over there leaving. You know, let him. You know, and he. You know, I don't know if he even know that to this day. 
Yeah, that's, oh, I like, yeah. like Snoop say when he see me. Too. What's up, loved one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, second to none in the building. Yes. Again, the CD is out now, and they yes, can go to is. where? You can go to uh, CD Baby dot com mm-hmm. second to none one you will slash second to none one you can go on itunes just pop it up in google google will take you everywhere Look right there compton will. music m-u-z-i-k now somebody okay. from you know fox so they're gonna be hitting it up they're gonna get it when you get it i want you to post the picture so yeah. we can put your picture onto our website we please sure will. Do. and so as soon as you get the cd Post it on there. We're going to put you on there. Give you a nice little shout out. Hey, man, thank y'all for hanging out with us. I appreciate yeah, it. Hey, we appreciate yeah. it. Man. Appreciate you having Anytime having you want to come back, just roll through the door, man. Fuck hey, can we pump thing. our social media? Please. Hell oh, yeah. that's yeah. it. Do gotcha. Sec- uh, hit us at uh, Twitter at Second to None CPT. That's 2 N D I I N O N E C P T. Instagram, Second to None CPT. All that. Uh, second to None.com. Second to None CPT.com. Second to none, see PT. That's com. the website. It's our PR. PR. All right, PR. Yeah. 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 She's, she's looking at the phone like, I think they got everything. Okay, <laughs> yeah. they got it all. Yeah. So, again, give it to them again so they'll write it. People driving the car, slow down, pull over, and write this shit down. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. At second to none, CPT. Uh, second to none, CPT on Twitter. Oh. Second to none, CPT.com. All that. Oh, everything's good. pretty much she second and CPT. Because you know, something they go, well, it's second and none, yeah. then it's James on Twitter, and then yeah. it's Willie Nim. Nah, this is uh, second and none. Yeah. The, number, <laughs> the number two, letter N, letter D, capital I, capital I. And go get the new album, which is called Compton Music. Compton Music. Go get that. Compton Music. M-U-Z-I-K, baby. Pay for it. Don't just, don't be stealing shit. Hey, yeah. Speedy. We appreciate you, bro. <laughs> hey, Please, oh, man. Anytime man. y'all want to come through, man. What's next for y'all? Like movies? We finna go uh, take her and get her in the studio. Yeah, shit. you know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm down. Tanisha Bussin' Bussin' <laughs> in the building with <laughs> Second to None. Yes. Funny bones. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. It's the Rollout Show right here on the Fox Hole. Rollout. Yeah. It's the Rollout Show right here on the Fox Hole. We will be knocking the oh. Knocking them boots. I'm going yeah, to find the knocking them boots, baby. Number to call it to is 855-960-3699. Roll out, man. Second and nine was in the building doing the damn thing. The late night, talk about it. When we made some good love. Listening to some Marvin Gaye all night long. What you know about this, Lord? It's I won't let a whole thing. Do that roll it. You don't know about that. I, r- I, had, I never had a chance to see them perform. And they played like this. This was the last song we danced to at my high school prom. They was like, yeah, I'm going to set y'all up for the big fails tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up with no shirt on. Yeah. That's how I usually, ha- that's how I usually start. Yeah. I own. Go ahead. Make a lover to the tie to the break of dawn. Uh-huh. Come on. Come on. Do it right now. Go ahead. I can hear you. Uh-huh. Hey. Because when you look, it's me and you. It'll be so right. Yeah. I'm going to rap over this. <laughs> Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. nigga uh, Give me some, some good love. love Yeah, bitch Somebody rockin', knockin' the boots I'm gonna rock their boots uh, Give me some good love Somebody rockin', knockin' My favorite part was good love and body Rockin', knockin' boots all night long uh-huh. Hey, 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 that was the part Dude, but I'm still trying to figure out what the hell the other dude was saying. Make love do but die but do the break of dawn. <laughs> but I just could not figure on. out any lyrics between that nigga. Just just roll with it. <laughs> it's Fox <laughs> Over, y'all. It's a rollout show right here on the Fox Show. We're doing the damn thing. We are in the lair. The it's your lair. boy Speedy. It's Speedy and Friends and I be. Speedy. Speedy. Up in this. Bitch. Make your guess. Make your new guess. Where they go? Where they go? Pew pew. No, nigga. (laughs) (laughs) In the building we got Mark Howard representing. In the building we got Lourdes Gonzalez, the Panamanian bombshell. In the building. Kanisha Bus a Bus, funny bone in this bitch. Yeah. On the wheels. DJ always always. in your ear. It is the lair. Who we got? Go back a long ways in this comedy shit. (laughs) Willie Barcelona. What's up, bro? Will it be speedy? What's Will up, it, baby? Man, how far we go back? Man? 20 years, bro. Damn. 
20 years, man. We were both thin. Look here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, I'm still thinner, bro. So I, you, you got me. Oh. Right, man. You got me by a cheeseburger. But that don't mean shit. No, no, no. Come on, bro. I need two weeks to get it right. Yeah, Speedy's been dieting. Is it? Have you? He yeah, been, li- been lying to him? What'd you say? He's been trying it. <laughs> Anything you got, he'll try it. Yeah, not no more. I don't do it no more. Willie Barsena, What's up, man. Baby? What's funny, been up, funny. dude? Just working, man. Uh, creating my own projects. I, I Every just, time I look uh, on TV, you fucking on there, man. No, thank you, bro. But well, you know what? Finally, uh, yeah, I have a project on, that's on Netflix right now, uh-huh. a right. special. And uh, but I finally produced my own project. Oh, like shit. I own this one, you know. Yeah, money coming uh, to you first. Y- yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you know how it is, man. When, when you're just when you're just working for the man, yeah. uh, you get a little check, and they tell you, "Thank you, thank yeah. you." Well, and then see, you find out yeah. how much he. Made. Yeah, right, right. So what I did was this last project. Um, uh, I I got everything. I got the That's cameras. Cool. I got cool. got the location. You know what I mean? That whole thing where I just own everything. Where'd you film it? What uh, in Texas? Oh, yeah. You're not from Texas? No, no. I'm from, I'm from L.A. Bro. I know. I'm from L.A. What the fuck? I know, man. But uh, I think you'd be like uh, East L.A. No, no, <laughs> no man. Uh, why do you say East L.A. racist bastard? I probably visit East L.A. Uh, you know, twice a year, bro. <laughs> and the thing, Willie, he always hits you with that. Back, giant holes yeah, all the time. Yeah, <laughs> Willie, yeah man, come on. Order, say order, order like me. You remind me of back in the day when I used to do uh, comedy uh, at the Comedy Act the Theater. Comedy, exactly. And all the black, because I was the only Hispanic one, yes. dude. I, nobody yeah. else could hang. Yeah. I remember that crowd was so mean. Do you remember, were you there that, uh, that day, Speedy, when there was a, a black comic? on stay obviously because I was the only yeah. one who was not oh, black no, yeah. and the audience was booing this guy so bad that he froze on stage and started crying oh. were you there I don't know if, I do you remember I, I know he you cried about, I know he, he cried and then I was next yeah. right <laughs> and I told the audience hey motherfuckers I ain't crying <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm not gonna cry I said you know you can boo me all you want but you're gonna you're gonna listen to me and, and we were young yeah, yeah. We were like, that's when we used to uh, everybody used to feed uh, Chris Tucker dude. Yeah. Chris yeah. Tucker would call everybody up yeah. come pick me up man because yeah. he, <laughs> he had just got to LA he had only been here maybe two weeks before Cube just happened to come see yeah, he went to the Comedy Act Theater and and he was going up, and he next oh, was fucking history. And I remember everybody was hating on Chris because yeah. everybody goes, he only has five minutes, yeah, and that's, he yeah, only has that's five all, minutes, literally. And he's, that's all he had, and he's yeah. got a movie. You know what I mean? But uh, matter of fact, his Def Jam set is all he had. Yeah, that was it. And then he had a tour. He had a tour. Yeah. Uh, people would hire him to do an hour. <laughs> right. But yeah. he only had five five minutes, right? So so it would be the five minutes, and then it'd be the question and answers yeah. after that. <laughs> what you What you guys think of my set? That <laughs> how, was how, funny. Who got no. kids? This is a beautiful thing. <laughs> but no, you just won something. Uh, what did I win? Well, I mean, bro? Not, well, not one, but you were on. Uh, was it? You did do uh, Last Comic Standing. No, bro. No, you no. think? See, man, you get. You think all Mexicans, the Mexicans are the, are the same? Oh, you're thinking like of Felipe Esparza, dude. No, <laughs> Felipe Esparza sure won did. that. He sure did. Yeah, Felipe but by, by the way, I mentored that dude because I had a room uh, uh, in Montebello, and he would come down and and uh, when he first started, you know, yes. I, I, you know, how it is, man. Because he, he was now there was a Latino night at. Uh, Improv, no, uh, uh, Laugh right. Factory. Remember Laugh Factory? Yeah, like, there, yeah, we yeah. started. Actually, I Mondays. started that twenty yes. years ago, yes. man. With uh, with well, uh, because we wouldn't get any stage time, man. Exactly. So it, it, so, every club, all the major clubs, yes. uh, would would hire like the one or two black guys, yes. and the one or two, yes. like, and other than that, you couldn't get in, man. Yeah. It's like so. What we, we, you know, what we always had yeah. to do, you know, uh, uh, go through the side door. Yeah. So it was like, all right, Jamie, what can I do to get, you know? Mm. Well, I'll give you Mondays. I said, what's going on on Mondays? He goes nothing. Yeah. He goes, but if you can get people here, I'll, I'll give you a night. Man. And then we, so we're old, I've, been old tr- I've been trying to get yeah. in Latin because I'm Hispanic uh-huh. too. I'm Panamanian. Uh, okay, but nobody ever thinks I'm. You know you are. You're a human being first. Thank you. I tell you, human being, and then everything else but is they, second. I, I try to get on Latin night, and it was like, nah, we don't believe you. I'm Who's, like, my last that? name, uh, the, uh, the new Booker there on oh. Latin, and I was like, my uh, last name is Gonzalez. But, was like, <laughs> but nah. it, should, see, it should just be, are you funny? Yeah, yeah. You see, they don't do that. No funny, more. but uh, but but the it, it's it's the ignorance of of people who are uh, infected with viruses, man. You know <laughs> that that go on and on and on, yes. and they're programmed and reprogrammed. So that by the time they see you, it's not them; they just see your color. Yeah. yeah. And, but it's not their fault. It comes from it's generations and yeah. generations yeah. of your brain of, of brains being uh uh you know uh, wired. Yeah. Right. You know. Right. And, yeah. and you could unwire that. You know, you could unwire you, that. Go ahead, bro. Now, that Monday night was literally 
one of the, as a comic, you wanted night. to go up on. You that wanted night. to go up on that because they. Well, it's like the Latino it's audience. like Pookie's Night, man. Yeah. Nah, you don't like Pookie's Night. Pookie's Night is good. Yeah, it's too, but, Holly, but, it's too Hollywood. But it's too remember Hollywood. now, really? back yeah. when you guys had it's your, good, but it's too Hollywood. You guys had your Monday night. When I tell you, bruh. Mm. Every brother comic was like, "Dude, I gotta try to get on night." And then after a while, Jamie wouldn't let the black comics go up. Yeah, remember? This? See, this is uh, yeah, yeah. It, it was not one of these. But, but, but when I tell you, Lourdes, mm. the Latino audience, because they with it, they they drinking, yeah. mm-hmm. they come to have a good time. They're like, we're more, you know, white audiences is kind of laid back. It's like a black guy is going up. We're gonna see if he's funny. And 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 us as an audience, we always lay back like, yo, motherfucker, make me laugh. Mm-hmm. Latino audience, they come Give it to up. laugh, man. I know. And, well, that's because they're starving. I'm, they're starving yeah. for entertainment, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know, because we don't see ourselves. I mean, I've always said, uh, when I see a, a black comedian on stage really dumbing it down, I, was, I, I really, I get, like, I want to pull my hair off, man. I'm yeah. like, why do you do that, dude? I mean, people have paid the way for you. Yeah. You know, you don't have to, because we're, we're coming up maybe, we're a few years behind yeah. black comedy, the yeah. Latino comedy, mm-hmm. but the black comedy, they've already done the, where you, you know, the, the song and dance stuff, you know, yeah. where you, where you kind of buffoon yourself. So and then you had Richard and and Dick Gregory and mm-hmm. all these right, smart right. cats, mm-hmm. uh, 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 Chris Rock man, mm-hmm. who's yeah. who's obviously a thinker. And so when I when uh, uh, when I see a, a, a young black comedian uh, doming it up on stage, man, I really want to like kick him in the ass, man. Like, dude, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Please do. But see, so so but Latino comics, we're 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 barely getting over that hump, man, of where mm-hmm. we don't have to, you know. You know, I do the accent, and mm-hmm. and you know, bro, you know me for years. Yeah. I never did it, man. Never did As a matter of fact, there was a contest, and all the brothers were mad at me at, <laughs> at, 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 at the Comedy Act Theater because it was it was called Black Comedy Competition, uh-huh. and, I, and I won it. You know, yeah. It was oh yeah, called, yeah. Wait, are you it, talking about the, the black? The, oh, not okay. the baby. We, yeah, we tried something here. Oh, yeah, okay. And so, it was uh, the beat. The ninety two point three, the beat did the contest, the conscious uh, comedy thing. Yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, the finals was in in Hollywood. It was you, Daryl Heath. Well, that that yeah, was the, yeah. that was an award thing, but they had uh, they did like a con- they wanted to do recognize yeah. black comedians here, and they did, and he won. And Paul Mooney gave me. I like yeah. what I like. I like Paul Mooney because yeah. I even beat his sons, man. Yeah. I, the, his sons were, were were. That's how you know Paul Mooney's real. He didn't even vote for his own kids because you know? <laughs> he was like, "No, nah, my kids suck, man." You know? <laughs> no, I love to the Mooney twins, shit. man. Yeah, I don't I know where they're at, but I, I love to you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm just busting balls, shit, guys. Willie, really? <laughs> hey, Willie, Bar- 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 that's it. See? You got it. Bro. See, I got it. <laughs> Willie. What's up, bro? You know, and we talk about the different black comedy, Latino comedy, right. or white, or we say mainstream. Right. And I ask comics this, and we all weigh in, but how do you feel about, does comedy have genres? Like R&B, rock and roll, how do you feel about that? No, you know what? I I, I think uh, everybody has a different style. Okay. I think everybody has a different style, but w- w- the only style that I don't like is when you're, I don't care what nationality you are, mm-hmm. but when you have the audience, heads up. <laughs> you okay? when, you ha- when you have the um, the audience laughing at you, uh-huh. not with you. Okay, that is when you're what you're what you're doing uh, when you talk about genres. I just I just have two takes on on, on comedy. Okay. It's people laughing at you or laughing with you. Yeah. Now here it is when people when there's when you have a whole audience mm-hmm. and they're laughing at you, mm-hmm. all you're doing is perpetuating all the negativity, mm-hmm. and you're actually stamping it with a seal of approval. Like yeah, yeah, oh. Oh, uh, 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 like I hate when I hear, okay, man, when I hear black black people, black people don't swim, right? How many yeah. times I, I I've heard every time I hear a comedian on stage go, black people don't swim, yeah. and then b- the reality is b- black people do swim. Yeah. But, <laughs> I, never, I never got that. Yeah, never but got but that. dig this, you know, every year black people uh, uh, drown, man, <laughs> you know, because when they're swimming, they have that virus in their head, like, oh, I'm not supposed to be out here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, these, these these are viruses, bro, that are put in people's minds, man, yeah. and and it's, and, and I connected back to the comedian that that just dumbs it down and has the uh, the audience. He said I could laugh at him. Yeah, well, I'm gonna drown. <laughs> yeah, or even like we can go. What? Uh, how many comedians uh, make fun of Asians can't drive? Asians can't drive. Yeah. And there goes goes back to viruses. By the way, great book written by a man named Richard 
Richard Brody wrote Virus of the Minds, man. For you, for your listeners out there Virus that want to the get deep into that yeah. of how we get programmed as human beings. I'm trying to figure out how you got that deep. What? <laughs> uh, bro, I've always been deep, man. I've always been a thinker, bro. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? I forgot, well. uh, He's not a thinker. I never, he I never, was an eater. I, I, never, I never went on stage and did the burrito thing, man. No, I was up didn't. there. I was no, out you there, didn't. you know, talking about. No, I, I remember I had a girlfriend yeah. at the time, man. Where all you brothers used to hit on her because she used to look at. Remember that little Latina chick? She looked at Halle Berry. And, and then uh, what happened there? Ah, she left me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was really Holly Berry. <laughs> yeah. No, man. But uh, I'm talking kids? about her. Now I got, I got, I have three boys. I have three boys at one place. They all play baseball. Oh, you know, yeah. one place, one place here in the valley, and then Los Angeles in the in Simi Valley plays uh, junior college baseball. Okay. And then uh, the other one plays travel ball. Actually, wow. oh, you're a Dodger fan, dude. They both man. play with Garvey's son, Steve oh, Garvey. Really? Oh, they're good. Yeah, man. yeah. Uh, his youngest, youngest plays with because Steve Garvey's a player, bro. Yeah. He's got like 20 kids. But he's, <laughs> right, but he's down. He's down to his last two. So his last, <laughs> down to his last two. To his last two played with my sons. Okay. Uh, uh, um, uh, Ryan, who he just got drafted by the, the Rockies, played with my my twenty year old, and my seventy year old plays with his youngest right now in travel travel ball. Oh, so right. your boys are really doing it. Yeah, bro, they can ball, man. They can, yeah. You know what? When they were listen, man, I'm that kind of dad. When they asked me, like, if they whatever they picked, you know, yeah. uh, uh, they were into boxing before, right? Okay. And I told them, you guys want to box, bro? I used to take my kids like old kung fu movies when they were nine and seven. Take them to South Central, go to boxing gyms, walk in, bro, like old western movies, and I'd go, okay. I got I got a I got a ninety pounder and I got a seventy five pounder. I go, you got any kids their weight that that they can, we can match them up with? Yeah. And we, yeah, we got a little Tyrone right there. And Tyrone will come out. Hey, let's do this. And I would just, they would just box it out, bro. And then we'd leave like an old western movie. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, I, bro, I swear we would take them to East LA. There was a, uh, 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 a a gym in East LA where I would walk in. Same thing. I go, hey, you got you know a little one like that. And then they got into baseball, bro. When they told me, hey, dad, we we want to play baseball. I go, well, how far do you want to get? Don't tell me how you want to play. Yeah. You know, how far do you want to go? I want to be pro. All right. I used to wake them up at 5 a.m., bro. I used to hit them ground balls in the dark. Oh. You know? Like, yeah, they're like, Dad, I can't see it. I say, you will, bro. <laughs> Use the force. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, That's man, I swear. Dope. Dude, I tell you, uh, I remember uh, uh, taking them to a, uh, uh, this is right here, bro, true story. I'm taking them to a tournament in Arizona, because you know, Arizona is a hotbed for baseball, man. Right. We went to a tournament, and my kid begs me for this bat, man. It's a $400 bat. Mm. And he's like, Dad, Dad, can I have that new stout that was called? He goes, new can I, I go, how much is it? He said, $400. He said, he said just like that. He goes, like, it's just $400. I go, dude, $400, bro, really? You know, I, I go... He goes, that's all I want, Dad. I was going, when I was your age, man, all I wanted was a dad, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you and Kanisha. Yeah. yeah. So, so I, I take him to the tournament, strikes out three times, man. On the way home, I was pissed, bro. I was like, man, bro, $400. $400, I could adopt a little Dominican. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't move with that. Bro, he would have hit a home run with a broomstick. <laughs> this is the rollout show. Willie Barcena. $400 back. It's the Rollout Show right here. Yeah, Fox yeah. Hole Radio. The hours are rolling by. Damn. Oh, it was. It's 9 o'clock. No what the fuck? Ain't nobody humping around. Yeah, it's yeah. Throwback Thursday. We're back. My man, Willie Barsetta. What's up, baby? Hey, I got to yeah, tell man. you, man. Uh -oh. I, I do, once in a while, I do the cruise ships. You know what I mean? I love doing the okay, cruise ships. Okay, so they hired me for uh, the Compton cruise ship out of Long Beach. There is no Compton cruise ship. It's the Compton the cruise Bro, the city, the, uh, uh, co uh, city of Commerce, the Compton, yeah. gets like... Uh, uh, two thousand people, man. They get they get them to go from all the businesses all over Compton, uh -huh. and they and they just they own the ship for that week, bro. Ooh. So where they, they go? Well, it goes to uh, Ensenada, oh, okay. Cannon Island, yeah. and then then it gets lost in the ocean for like a day, and it comes back. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, <laughs> I ne I had never done like you know that's. That was a party, bro. <laughs> because yeah. you, you know uh, those cruise ships usually have their own DJs. Yeah. Right. But like on this ship, man. Every fifty people brought their own DJ, <laughs> you know, and they 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 have these new things that I hadn't seen these before. Like they, they they're like they're on the, the the way you have your your luggage on a wheel, uh -huh. and they have oh, everything is on a, on a little luggage rack, and they just park it and pop pop pop, pop everything out, is and then and the, 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 the speaker is in the luggage. And it's a party, bro. Like every floor. What's that called? You're, you're, I'm sorry. You're on. No, they um, it, it's they're basically trying to condense down DJ packs to make it real easy to bring on everything. But they don't give as much punch. It, but they're good for like but a 50 person yeah. party, you know. Oh, yeah, okay. bro. It, it's like you just like, and then every floor, 
They didn't get in care, man. Right by the elevators. Party time, bro. You know what I mean? Damn, I want to go on that cruise. It was, yeah, it it's was, a Compton cruise shit? Yeah, yeah. No, well, it's the Carnival. Carnival does it uh, uh, once a year once for a year? the City of Commerce. Uh, Compton City that. Commerce. So you go on Carnival and click in the Compton cruise shit? No, but you know what? I, 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 I don't know how, how it worked, but I the audience, they came out... I, I remember, man, I had flashbacks of when I used to do the comedy act theater because everybody walked into the to the comedy club like with that, like, oh, man, you better make me laugh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck and they had a brother. Fun. There was this brother that, that did the show before me and then I went on after him, uh-huh. right? So then when I came out, you could tell everybody, uh, 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 black people put, you know, like, lean back, like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah, you going to say, Julio. Shit. You know what I mean? Like that, right? I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. I, I met them. I made them clap right. I said, you got to clap right now. Like I'm bothering you, motherfuckers. <laughs> exactly. All right, so tell everybody what you got coming. Okay, out, bro, man. check this out. I'm real excited, man. I I I got a new special right now that that I'm it's literally a couple weeks away from being completed, and uh, I'm uh, whoever gives me the best money. You know how that goes, yeah. guys. Yeah. You know whoever uh, whoever sh- whoever shows you love. You go you go to the people that show you love. Right. So everybody out there, whether you're at work, whether you got relatives, whatever, go to the lean. Lean toward the energy, all right? Okay. Don't don't force uh, yourself on somebody because things are going to get fucked up. <laughs> Go with the people that love you. So that's what I'm, I got this project. I'm, I'm shooting a 10-minute, a uh, like, a, a sizzle reel to, to uh, go with a sitcom that I wrote for this because I finally said man I've been in Hollywood so many years and and I'm tired of waiting uh, every time I go to auditions uh, on the gardener uh, you know what I mean uh, uh, what else am I on the the trash guy uh, uh, it's just a stereotypical guy number yeah, four yeah you know what and, and, I, and I think of Hollywood I go because Hollywood thinks that uh, anybody outside of them is in the bubble uh, uh, is in the bubble right yeah. but the, the reality is, is that Hollywood is in the bubble yeah, yeah. You know, because they're, if you could, the percentage of people that live like those people in Hollywood that create shows, it's like two, three percent. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. two, three percent of America. The rest of America is working class, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, the, so the only time they deal with Latinos is is their maid, their gardener. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so they, they don't have a real perspective of of uh, they, they don't know how to humanize us, you know. Mm-hmm. It's always one dimensional. Yeah. So I've created, and it comes from our world. The, 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 you're like, hey, Speedy, I ain't lying, I, 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 you know. But I'm telling you, bro, uh, 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 you can be involved with this because Let's do it. because it's it's about. Our our generation, uh-huh. the way we we hustled yeah. for uh, uh, to get on stage, What's and it how called? everybody. What's the sitcom called? Uh, okay. No, you can't get it. I don't, don't want to say it, bro, we'll because the, okay. the title is such bad, it's such a badass title that I want to not tell somebody signs, and I go, and yeah. then I give it away there because it is you know you know Hollywood yeah, is, is man, you know. Um, so, anyways, I have that. And for your listeners, man, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, when I t- when I tweet, I don't bullshit. I don't sit there and, and write like, oh, you know, uh, come see me or whatever. I take my time. I I, I I go somewhere. I go to my office, which is a diner in Silver Lake, and I, <laughs> and, I and I write tweets, man. And I just really they're really methodical. So follow me. And my handle is Willie Barcena. That's simple. W i l l i e b as in boy a r c e n a. And I write a lot of stuff. Stuff. A lot of controversial stuff, man. You know, like religion. You know, a lot, and people will love it, man. Yeah. Like, re- like you know. By the way, I don't know. If, I'm sure there's people religious in this room, but I've always said, man, blacks and Latinos, man. You know, I always give uh, God a lot of props, and and I think God should reciprocate. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You, yeah. think, you think with all that, with all that, thank you, thank you, thank you. He'd be like, oh, you know, I'm gonna throw them a little something, something. Yes. But he doesn't, man. So, um. I just think religion, and, and I think the core of religion, if we really look at the core of religion, it's based on fear, man. It's not based on love. It's based mm-hmm. on, hey, if you don't listen to us, you're going to go to hell. You're going to burn. You go, oh, you know what? I'm going to listen to you. You know what I mean? So, uh, Willie Barcetta is in the building. Bro, what is what is religion without the devil? You guys know? Uh, what? Out of business, bro. <laughs> <laughs> out of business. Tell them about the Netflix. Uh, uh, check uh, out. Yeah, check out my Netflix uh, that, that they picked up last year, and it's doing uh, real well. It's called uh, Search I Gotta Be Honest. That's the name of, the, of that one. It's called I Gotta Be Honest. Gotta Be Honest. And uh, I'm telling you, people hit me up on Facebook. Not the, not the regular Facebook because it's all full. Get me on Willie Barcetta fan page. 
and I'm and hit me up. Let me know what you think. And good or bad, I don't give a shit. You know, uh, uh, hey. conversations, conversation. Yeah. If you're the yeah. devil, call in. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Thank you, Willie, for hanging out hey, with us, bro, man. All you. Thank you for having me, man. Please, anytime. Come on I back, love bro. To your crew, man. Thank you, brother. We'll be back. Back when we come back, right. we'll get into some more corner news. I got some more. I got some more. Man, I miss this. You know who wrote this? No, who? Don't say that. You know who wrote this? Who? R. Kelly. Really? Oh, yeah, I know that. Oh, you I did? I did know that. Sing it to the kids. <laughs> For so long, we've been together, but I never... It, their unsung was sad. It was very sad. I didn't see that. Their what? Their, their unsung. Oh. Very sad. Because uh, they didn't get to see any of that money. Uh, well, most like most groups back in that day. That's so cold. How do, oh my gosh! They that's why when I them. see you know record label people and they still balling, mm-hmm. it's because they took all the money, and I mean took it, not some of it. They took it all and didn't all care that those kids or whoever they were managing or whatever you want to call it didn't don't even have because they figured you signed a contract, should have known what you were signing. Back. Let's keep it pushing. And knowing that ain't nobody got no experience in that, this shit is new. Just like you, right. you see a way out. That's why when you see, and I just saw that commercial with Jay Z and and all these different artists who came together to create the uh, what? Because you mentioned title, the, the title, yeah. yeah, title. And it's just people just have to understand that back in the day, as much as we thought these guys had it going on, they didn't. If they didn't own their, and even when even when they own their own stuff, they still didn't have it going on because mm-hmm. somebody f- still found a way to say, "Well, I own your masters, and now you can't get paid when somebody takes and samples a song, and now I'm getting a check, and I'm 75 years old, and I ain't never wrote a day in my life." Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you gotta be careful. I remember uh, Errol Smith back in the day said they was like always high, drunk mm-hmm. management group they had made them sign a lifetime contract. Wow. So they get a piece of what Aerosmith does for the rest of their lives. Shit. Yeah. That's why I don't sign shit. It's the world. <laughs> That's why I like being. They get fifty percent, but they get it's the rollout show right here on the Fox. So it's a little bit after the top of the hour. If you're not yes. where you're supposed to be, you are late. Yeah. You really yeah. are so late. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, shout out again to Willie Barsena. We, yeah. we go back a long way doing the stand up thing. Yes. I, I really enjoy seeing the guys that uh, I grew up. Uh, just we just was beating the pavement. I'm yeah. at the comedy clubs every single night, and I always wanted to get to the point where I'm now, where I go when I want to. Yeah. Back then, I had to like, and I was yeah. dating too. And they're like, "Where are you going? I, I got to be at the club. I got to do these jokes. I got to see what other niggas is doing. How hot niggas is it? You know, doing. And then you hear somebody go, oh, he got this show, or something happens. So it's really cool to see fellow comic getting it on. It was funny what he was talking about, like the different nights, Latino night, black night, all those things. Yeah. The How I got my first TV show stand-up, they had ran out of all the black spots and they were only looking for Latinos and so shit, be a mix. So I was Latino that day and that's how I got <laughs> my first... Uno, dos, <laughs> no, and that's when I threw my little Spanish joke in at the beginning, but um, that's how I got my first TV spot is I took the Latino spot. Now what I didn't say because that Sunday, that Monday night, when I, it was just fire. It was... You couldn't miss. There's nothing you could have said at the Latino night you missed. So what happened was some of the Latino comics start complaining that the black comics were coming on their night mm-hmm. and destroying. Yeah. Because like he said, most Latino comics do pretty much the same. You do, a, you say the, the joke and then you kind of put a Spanish word in there. Then you just do English part of it. Then you just do a Spanish word, which makes it funny, I guess. I don't, because I don't know what the Spanish words are half the time. So most of the comics, Spanish comics time. are like that. They have that kind of time. So it's back to back those dudes and then hit them speedy. And I'm way from the left, and I'm nailing the fucking room. And they're like, yeah. Uh, so Jamie Masada pulled me to the side and said, no, nah, you can't do uh, Monday nights anymore. I'm like, whoa. Because if you were showcasing or you needed to showcase, that's the night you wanted to showcase. Mm. That's the night you would tell someone in the industry, well, come see me mm. on Monday, uh, night. Monday nights at the Latino night. Yeah, and you hot. wouldn't say Latino. you just say, come see me on Monday yeah. night. Laugh at That's how it is now. Uh, uh, skills is big on the Latino rooms. And right now, they're the only ones that you could really get $75, $80 out of. Because you know, that's in L.A., true, that's yeah. big. That's true, too. And they're all in the outskirts. And they love and you, they, don't they, you? Yes. Oh, my oh. I'm trying to get on the Latino role, but they be like, uh, you really Latino? Yeah, because they know. Well, here it is. Like I said, you're you're intruding on on their little what they think this is. But I'm with shit. them. Yeah, <laughs> they, they just figure you're just saying it. Like like someone asked, well, how did Jamie come up with the name Jamie Fox? Because it's not that's not his real name. Well, on Monday nights at the at the Laugh Factory, they had potluck. 
Yeah. So you would come and you would sign your name and you put it in the pot. Pretty 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 much. What the it lottery was. as we call it now. Yeah. And so right. when you get there, it was always a gang of dudes, and they never had that many females. So they were like, we got too many dudes. We need some more females. So then they don't look and see who put their name in there. So he noticed that they needed more girls. So he would put, he was using universal names and see which one hit. And he used Jamie Foxx and they would call him. And then the guy would be like, no, I'm looking for Jamie. He's like, yeah, that's me. Yeah. I'm Jamie Foxx. <laughs> gotcha, yeah. bitch. Yeah, gotcha. And now, your name, now you're on the board. Yeah. Because they would say, you look on the list, and then they had to have some females. They didn't never look to see who the females yeah. were. Yeah. They just figured, hey, you know, you, Lourdes Gonzalez got to be a girl. I doubt yeah. if it's this. That's how I got booked uh, at Flappers on the Latino night on mm-hmm. Sundays. Mm-hmm. And, uh, they don't have a pic. I don't have a picture of me on the flappers, uh, the board. Mm-hmm. So when uh, when I got the call, if I want to do uh, for Latino night, I'm looking at the list. There's a whole bunch of Pedros, Martinas, and all of that, and they see my name, mm-hmm. but I'm the only one without a picture. So when I go on Sunday, they're like, oh, "What's your name?" I'm like, "Lorda." They're like, "You're Lorda." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah." And I actually started off. That's how I got uh, on Flappers. I started off the joke. I was like, "Well, I guess y'all are here for the black girl now, huh?" <laughs> Psych, gotcha. I'm one of y'all. <laughs> oh, I was screaming. Cause yeah, you do. I thought you were black when I met you. Yeah. Nobody ever thinks I'm Latina. It's a different thing on the West Coast when you see Latina, and on the East Coast because it's more Caribbean, Panamanian, yeah, Cuban. Yeah. So it's more favorable looking black. Like we go out there, you and you get. Mesmerizing New York, and you talking to somebody you think is black, and all of a sudden they're going, they speaking in Spanish, like, what kind of nigga is you? Oh, that's why I love Florida. <laughs> I was like, I'm the only nigga nigga here. Florida, Everybody Florida was Caribbean. I was kissing people all over, up and down in the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I loved but it. You should be able to maneuver through this comedy business because you can do both. Yeah. Right. I, I've early really find it hard to, you know, that you're not like killing on both sides. I, there was a young lady that used to stay at Fox House who was, uh, she's, she's Mexican. And uh, now she, the Latino, she wasn't comic, but she used to do the, uh, the, the, one of the Latino news stations. But she wanted this right here. She wanted to be mainstream. But she was making some cool money in the little Latino world. And, you know, they, you could actually kind of kill a little bit for a minute. Mm-hmm. And But she wanted to get away from that so bad. And then, you know, she ended up standing at Fox House. And it was like, she, I said, why don't you just keep doing the Latino? I don't want to do that. I want to be. But she couldn't break it through mm-hmm. because she was really Latino. Mm-hmm. She looked yeah. Latino. They put them ba- them boundaries on you. You yeah. just got to try to break through them. Sometimes it is hard, but. but I see even just a, we're just talking. I see even in the Latin channel, they make them look. Non Latino. Like they do it with the blonde hair. hair. Yeah. Blonde hair but like. that's what you know. That's that's actually false uh, because uh, Latinos come in all color. My, you yes. see my mother. Yes. My mother yes. has hazel eyes. Yes. Originally, her hair is blondish brown. And, you know, my dad is just a darker complexion. Especially in Panama, there's so many different colors. Like yes. my grandmother had long blonde hair with blue eyes. Like right. my cousin, she's uh, uh, always his complexion with green eyes. And like my. Freckles? Uh, she no, she has a little bit of freckles, but she has green eyes and she's brown skin. And my uncle, her dad, is uh, like uh, C, uh, Chris, uh, Chris's color with green eyes. You know what I'm saying? So there is Latinos in all colors. If you watch the novelas, there are those Latinos that have what the, is novelas? Uh, soap opera, Spanish yeah, soap opera. And they only have. Uh, I watch those. I watch y'all show the gay the shows. Telemundo. Whatever when the lady be shaking her ass. Sabado gigante. Huh? They be so Sabado gorgeous. Gigante. Yeah. Right. It's like a, a Spanish game show. That's what you're talking Whatever. about. Whatever. They be having a big old Saturdays. ass. It's on Saturdays. That's all I know. Uh, but yeah, but if you if you look, if you go on Telemundo, you see all the Latinos, they have blonde hair, blue yes, eyes, yes, uh, right, brown. Right. So, you know, they when I come into the picture, they're like, oh, no, you're not the standard. I, I went on audition when I first came to L.A. I went for a role. It was a Hispanic role. And I killed it. He's like, can you speak Spanish? And I said, I killed it. He came out. After the audition, he goes, you killed it, but we're going to go with somebody more Spanish. I said, my name is Lourdes Gonzalez. How much Spanish do you want? He was like, we were going towards more like a J-Lo type of Spanish. <laughs> so they wanted the light. Not you, Lo. j So they wanted the more lighter version of the Hispanic uh, community. But that, that was my point. That's what you only see. And I think mm-hmm. that's not fair. Obviously, it comes in different colors. Yeah. Or not it, but Latinos come into in all shapes, sizes, and colors, and they need to have that uh, yeah. the representation properly like that. It's like 
seems whitewashed in that sense because mm-hmm. you only think that this is what we want to see on TV. This is better looking. Mm-hmm. Of course. I mean, well, that's why Colombiana was so good because it, it, it gave people a different perspective on Hispanic people. Yes. And um, that's why uh, I know uh, Zoe Saldana got into some trouble at one point in time because she said she's not African American and people got mad at her because they're looking at her skin color and they're like, well, how dare you say you're not African American? And I, I understand. That's why my friends always tell me all the time, no, you a nigga. Like, I'm like, no, I am a Latina, I I love my culture. I don't I don't say I'm African American because I don't feel African American. I know my culture. I, I this is the culture I grew up on. Mm-hmm. So when I blow, that's why. Why you think I throw Panamanian bombshell in there all the fucking time? And they have to know that. Uh, at, b- besides of what I look like, I am a, a Latin woman. And you're a good looking one. Thank I, you. It is now time. You look like a nigga to me. <laughs> it is now time. We got. It's now time to go to our doctor. We got. We have a letter. It is now time for N.D. Howard, What Should I Do? This is a letter. And here we go. (laughs) You never put the name. (laughs) It's at the bottom. I'm in the middle of a divorce. I'm in the middle of a divorce, and it's very hard on me. My strange husband and I grew up together, so of course we're childhood sweethearts. We've been married for over 10 years and have three children. I broke things off and he was very upset about it and pressed me and pressed me to get back together. I eventually gave in because I did love him. He's the only man I've ever known and it was hard on the children. We were still having problems and he was acting very different. I later found out that he got another woman pregnant. I found out from my aunt who has a daycare center and by chance found out that she had been babysitting his love child. The daycare was in the same neighborhood we lived and we are very close. So our kids were interacting with the child that they did not know was their brother. Then when I confronted him about it, he says the child was conceived during our breakup, but the timeline just doesn't match. Not only was he sleeping with another woman unprotected, he then sprung on me that she's pregnant with another one of his children. This was not only devastating to me, but our children as well, as you can imagine. Our son, his junior, is a teenager and won't even speak to him. I have since left and moved out with my mother, and she and he's now living with the other woman. The craziest thing is that I still love him, and I know it's not right, but what should I do? What would you do? Sign dazed and confused. No shit. All right, MD. Hey, that's, uh, that's deep. That's a lot of shit happening right there. First off, uh, sounds like she's thinking about getting back with him. Uh, I can't go and say, try to tell somebody, please don't, but uh, please don't. Because you know it's not it's not conducive right now. The family's torn apart. It's you know that it's not the right thing to do, but you want to go back because of love, and that's not how you go back. Love is an emotion, but we can do a lot of stupid things out of love. And so the thing is that you can't trust him anymore, and he's lied to you. You know you feel like basically not come clean about whether this child was even done was conceived during the time they were still together. He's telling you that it was not. Timeline doesn't add up, right? So um, I would say, if not, you needed a long period of time to adjust to the situation, get the kids and the family to adjust with dad. Obviously, the son is very torn up because he's not speaking to his dad. So that's got to get rectified just within his own. And being, moving in and doing stuff like that, it's only going to create more resentment because the son and the father has, has, has a problem there. I can imagine. He was sitting there playing with a kid that he didn't even know was his brother. And I don't care who you are. I know this, and I get into arguments with my son's mom, but and I even talk about it with my own son's mom, but I know moms are sacred. So as much as I may be upset and stuff like that with his mom, I'm never going to cross the barrier to even speak what I really feel about that to him because that's his mom. So he needs to get that repaired, and you can't just force that on him. And you and that, that boy is upset because you've hurt his mom. You can see the devastation. You know, it's a devastation you could fix mom. it, but it's ooh. that's a lot to have to overcome. And I'm not saying you can't, yeah. but that's a lot to overcome and just go right back and forget because apparently what, what she said, he's ba- he's still living with her. He, yeah, he lived with her, so that marriage is done because he's starting a new family <laughs> with younger children. So mm. that might that might not even be where he wants to be, but that's where he has to be, and she's making it convenient for him because they have two children, and and it's some low down shit because obviously they said. Her aunt, he knew her aunt was the bait was the daycare. Yeah, and took the and, baby over there, and, t- and had a baby over there. And they don't know. 
They find out on a humbug. Uh, from what the letter's saying, you know, this is like, you got to get yourself together. You got to get over the hurt and the pain of what you've dealt with first, uh, Miss Days and Confused. Get that together and then move from there and see what see where That's it incredible. I mean, I, I don't know if I could have did that. Yeah. And then if your son is not talking to your older son, I mean, that you have to rectify. I mean, you have to fix that. You really do have to fix that. I mean, you don't have to, but... Wow. That's, you want to. It's your kids, you know. That's his junior, as she said. That's his junior. Yeah, I so, know. So, and then, you know, you don't want that. That's. But then you picked that in the beginning, so you, you pretty much created all this. You, yeah. This is you. Yeah. You did. At the end of the day, it's you. But yeah. the father is not really the concern here. It's the mother saying, I still love him and I want to be back with him. And that's just something she's going to have to get over because... It's happening, and then he did it again. You can expect it to happen a third time. So right. in that oh, yeah. situation, so it's just she has to, to move on. She she definitely she's gotta has to find move a way on. to move on. And uh, and sometimes to move and, on and for the women, kid needs counseling. Yeah, the kids need counseling, but women need answers. And I think it would be fair to him to sit down and explain how everything happened because sometimes we just need to hear everything right. so that we can get over right. it and move on with our lives. And he should give her that. Especially if he's still denying that the child was done, you know, was conceived uh, while they were together. And if you have uh, some things you want. Our doctor to, uh, well, no, MD, MD. to answer. <laughs> How do they get it to you? Speedyandfriends.com. You can put on the message board or a scenario. You can uh, inbox me on Facebook. Mark Howard, no joke. Inbox. I'm getting a lot of feedback on that. I appreciate the people that have no, sent me stuff there. And it is speedyandfriends.net. It's a world last show right here. Fox yeah. Radio. Serious 96. Yeah. Speedy and Friends and I be speedy, speedy in the building. We got Mark Howard. Mark Howard. We got Lourdes Gonzalez. Lulu. Better than if you run into her. No, don't say that. Right? No. Okay. And uh, <laughs> Kanisha Bus in the yeah. building, along with my DJ, DJ Always in Your Ear. We just got our little lunch from Cinnamon Hot Plate. Uh, young lady, Lynn is in the building. Thank you for She bought, um, how do I, I'm going to say Everything, because you ate it all. Yeah. Oh. Enchiladas, uh, is salad. It enchiladas? Enchiladas, salads. Um, Peach cobbler. Peach cobbler, which I will down. begin to. And if you want to partake of this great food, just hit her up at uh, 213 235. You can't read numbers. Start over. Start, start, start over. Shit up, man. Start over. 213 235 7152. Because he got enchiladas in there. Hilarious. That's her, name. <laughs> her name is Lynn. And I'll be posting. And she it. said, contact her because she will deliver. And she not only does soul food, she does Mexican food or whatever you want. Like. You can have whatever you, you like. Lynn, thank you for bringing the food. It's Cinnamon Hot Plate. The number again. Make sure I don't fuck it up. 213. Three. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the numbers really? are running together. 213. Really? 213-235-7152. That's 213 213- Two three five seven one five two. The three kept jumping. And hey, y'all trying to clown? I know y'all think I'm lying, but three, this three yeah, turned into an eight real quick. I'm telling you what happened. <laughs> and she covers the Orange County area as well as Los Angeles. So if you live in those areas OCI. and you live out this way, we like to support our local businesses and yes, people trying to get their thing off the ground. Because mm-hmm. at one point we was trying to get our little bullshit off the ground. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was so just we, some bigger bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we bigger than the bullshit before. Yeah, <laughs> we are. That's trying to turn into some huge bullshit. Thank you again, Land, for doing it. And if you, if I fucked it up so bad, we will have it posted on our on web page, which is uh, speedyandfriends.net. Yes. So we'll have it on there. We'll take a picture of the food, too. Yeah. I always wonder why people take pictures of their food. So you can see if that's, like, something that you want to partake in. Oh. Like, you ever seen, like, a a, a, food, a dish, like, somebody served you some food, you are like, I'm not eating that shit. Mm. And then you be like, you know, so if you see a nice plate of food that's presented well, and uh-huh. you can see the layers and the meat and the cheese, you're like, oh, I want that. Yeah. Speaking See? of. Speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lulu, Lulu, he left something. He didn't get the stuff off the top of the aluminum foil, so you can look at oh, the Oh, thanks, okay. Speedy. <laughs> I was going to save that for later. <laughs> His name is Speedy because he speeds to the food real fast. <laughs> like, look at the bowl. <laughs> I was going to save that for later. <laughs> I'm a cheese pig. And you know, and when it comes to peach cobbler, black folks, we don't fucking play. I'm in... Uh, North Carolina now. North Carolina at the um, I, whatever. At North Carolina at the um, Colonels, they have the Sunday brunch, which is separate than what's on the menu. So it's uh, greens, peach cobbler. It's a different kind of chicken, and so I, I fall in with my daughter. I'm like, is that a buffet table? 
and I lost my motherfucking mm-hmm. mind. They had peach cobbler. It was off the chain. You tear up when you see buffet tables, don't you? I kind of okay. uh, worm kicked my way through it. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like the clumps when they saw the buffet. And shit. <laughs> you sound silly. <laughs> it's Fox Old Radio, yeah. and if you want to get some shirts, what should they do? Friends.net. Go ahead and post your pictures. Uh, yeah. V necks, regular shirts, and hoodies. Um, yeah, there you go. And uh, if you missed today's show and you'd like to catch a replay of it, any other show of of the Rollout Morning Show, go to SiriusXM.com backslash on demand. On demand. Yeah. And go hit that up. And uh, the food is very good. I, I had to taste it that way. Always. Is really? You, well, you have to taste it in order to tell you. Always. How, what you do have you to think? taste it in order to tell if you like it? Yeah. Because you got to <laughs> let y'all know if it's cool. It's all good. Well, I'll let you know. The virus has been detected. <laughs> you know, if he's no, smacking, I, I know it's good. No, I'm kidding. But he went and heated his up. I ate it cold. Oh, that's and what he great. did. Yeah, it's yeah. great. It, it's great both ways. Damn. So I you had the whole college way. Cold. Yeah, yeah he's he, sprinting. He, no, he, it's, it's, it's very good. I, I actually put a silhouette. It was like a little silhouette I put here. And then I ran to it and heated it up and came back. And you got like, issues. Problems yes. you need to iron out. No. I will holler, but for now, you won't time out. Speaking <laughs> of timeouts, I heard you have a really good news story. I do have a really good news story. Well, read it to us, will you? Um, this has to do... See, Speedy st- stepped away so he can go eat. <laughs> um, this has to do with Chris Rock. You know, Chris Rock has been documenting series of detainments by police on his Instagram. Um, so basically, within the past couple of weeks, he's been pulled over, uh, I want to say, three times. Um you know, it says it's unclear why he's been stopped for, but he keeps posting these images uh, highlighting highlighting his uh, his running with the law. You know, yeah. And he's always basically saying, you know, uh, typical, you know, driving under the influence, driving while black. And, um, you know, he, he even referenced this to an episode of Jerry Seinfeld's Comedians in Cars when he was getting coffee. He goes, um, it'd be such a better episode if we got pulled, if they pulled me over to the side and beat the shit out of me, don't you think? Now, here's the crazy thing. If you weren't here, I'd be scared. I'm famous, still, ba- still black right now, and I'm looking for my license right now. So he's basically, he's been documented on, if you go on his Instagram, uh, you just type in Chris Rock, you can see him basically every time he gets pulled over, he'll take a selfie. It's in New York. Uh, I, I want to say, I think so, yeah. Wherever he's at. In, Where, which, whether which he's in New York time. or L.A. And I'm not giving a reason, and I'm not justifying anything with the police. Is it a certain kind of car he's driving? He's driving a really nice car? That's the only thing I can think. It doesn't, I mean, well. Unless well, literally, Rock, I, I'm so hoping so. that's what it is. I'm hoping it's just not, I see a black guy in the car and I'll pull him over. Because it it, normally out here in L.A., three dudes in the car get you pulled over. If I'm driving a really fly-ass Benz with the rims and the whole nine, they would pull me over. Yeah. If I'm like on my truck, I never get pulled over. Well, even uh, after Isaiah Washington uh, has even responded to his Instagram with the tweet, you know, they're basically saying uh, he prompted a blackish a backlash with the suggestion of black people should adapt to racial profiling. But later expanding. That's what Isaiah said? Yeah. Okay. But later expanded on the comments with CNN's Don Lemon saying that Rock should engage with the police to, as to see why they are continuing to pull him over. He added that black Americans face serious and ongoing prejudice. We have to survive under extreme circumstances. For those practicing white su- supremacy, they're at war, they're on a hunt. We have to go about business of having serious conversations about how we survive. Okay, I got to get this right with John Lennon. Lemon. Is he with us? Not it's Don Lemon. Him too. Is he with us? Or is he yeah. is he saying that? Well, black, is he saying black people need to get well, just over to wait, it? Well, just to piggyback off of the Chris Rock question, he ha- he was driving a nice car. Um and he does live in Jersey. So I'm not saying that's the reason, but yeah. I'm just trying to. I, I, I'm hoping it's not like uh, they see a black guy and they pull mm-hmm, him over. Well, mm-hmm. Most of the time, it's the cops who are jealous and they see a guy in a really nice looking car. Uh, I'm thinking Chris Rock been in it for a minute. He's probably driving, if not a really hell of a nice Benz. He might be doing a Maserati. Something yeah, because like his net worth is crazy. Yeah, because he had some fly super ass fly car on uh, when he was on Husbands of Hollywood, yeah. and he was like, "Step your game up" or something, and was oh, in the shit. in that super fly. Oh yeah, 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 car. yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Because because um, Fox, he gets pulled over in his uh, the Maserati. He's a Maserati. No, no. What did I take a picture by yeah. secretly? Lambo. Oh, that, no, no. That was the... <laughs> that was a Lambo. Oh. Yeah, I did take a picture by the Lambo. He gets pulled over in the Lambo, and he gets pulled over in the Rolls Royce. <laughs> they might want to Now, when he drives his uh, Range Rover that or the black truck, the no, Cadillac no. truck, nothing. 
But yeah. the the Rolls Royce and the Lambo. Boom. I mean, he was rolling, and they had. But this, he used to ride with no license plate because you know he's like yeah. I'm Jamie Foxx. Shit, he really was getting pulled no. over there. But your question about Don Lemon. Nobody knows. We all uh, there was actually a poll at the beginning of the year that said who got the Coon Award, and it was between Don Lemon, uh, um, what's the dude that lost Steven. all the weight, got the bobblehead now, Al Sharpton. Al Sh- <laughs> bobblehead. He looked like a bobblehead, you know, mm-hmm. like yeah, he lost too much it's, yeah it's, it's between Don Lemon, uh, him, Wendy Williams, and it was like two other artists. Well, I'm just trying to Coon say because in this, but people don't people don't think Don Lemon's with us. Okay, but in this, it sounds like he is he saying that we should get over that, over, or he, that Chris well, this, Rock should get this, over it. This is what Isaiah Washington said to Don Lemon, okay. and I think Don Lemon had, a, I guess, an a article or, um, or, or maybe yeah, because it said um, he later expanded on the comments. With no, I think Don Lemon is just interviewing him yeah. about the situation. Well, sometimes he'll interject, so I know Don Lemon yeah. will, will jump in there and be like, you know, so, sometimes he sound like he down with us, and then I don't. He, he was the one that when Ferguson was going around yeah, was like, yeah, there's a hint of marijuana in the air. Like, shut well, did he? I, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, on air. Yeah. Some shit. Sometimes you gotta smoke through the bullshit. I would have yeah. been smoking too. They kill them, folks. I gotta be out here marching yeah. all goddamn night, and my feet hurt. I'm gonna hit the weed too to deal with this crazy bullshit. Yeah, I'm late on Don Lemon. I but he look snitched. Him up. Yeah. Well, he's on CNN, so he snitched. At one time CNN used to be cool, and then now it's, it's I, kinda, I don't it's know what's going on. Here, it's the new Fox. Is, is it? Is it going that far? It's Fox Light. It's, it's, Fox, it's, Fox, it's Fox. It's Fox. It's Fox. It's Foxish. Because at, at one time Fox was the only one that you. I literally would look at and go. They don't like black people. I'm not but, saying they like Fox, but they Fox-ish. Yeah, Fox-ish. <laughs> you know, the thing is, that the Republican Party, a part of the talk radio and stuff like that, they are more controversial. They sound more. The Democrats, they don't. The liberals or the conservatives, they sound more. Well, like, they cater into that scare factor and those, those Tea Party people. You know, on radio, the, one, the other one on radio, the one I don't like. Uh, but Chris Rock, I just want to let you know, and I don't think you should not drive your car. No. And but if I think if you're one, I think that's what it is. I think they see a, a brother in a really nice car, mm-hmm. you automatically think drug dealer, mm-hmm. or he did ain't his car. It could be stolen. So you have all those thoughts instead of just saying, you know what, mm-hmm. nice car. I mean, I actually started following Chris Rock on Instagram because of that. I, I would like to see how, how far he documents this. And you know, it's crazy. You would think in Los Angeles with so many. Um Celebrities that it wouldn't be such an issue because it's like it's so many African. But I, it, it might have happened in Jersey. No, I'm talking about he. Oh, Fox. Fox. Yeah, a lot of oh, celebrities there in Jersey. Doesn't matter. Nice area. Now here's the thing I, I don't understand too because Fox asked the cop too. He said you knew who I was when you pulled me over because my license plate. I mean, once you run it, it'll say yeah. it goes to the watch company. It'll say Jamie Fox. Uh, then you still want to pull me over? Now, I know you want to look in there and make sure it's me. And once you see it's me, everything's good. Here's my license, insurance, everything's right. I ain't drunk. So what's the problem? And he said, you told Fox, that you look like you were doing 72 in the 70. You look Shut like you were doing 72 yeah, in the 70? Some bullshit like that. Fox just looked just not Maybe he wanted an autograph. You know, sometimes nah. just like, you know what? I just wanted to see you. Let me stop bullshit. <laughs> not just, I wanted to see you. <laughs> but there's yeah. like, but I understand. There's people who are always, like, I don't get the whole thing in New York because I'm black. Or whoever I am, that you can just walk up to me and ask me to empty my pockets. I don't mm-hmm. I don't get that shit. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. I, I, don't, I don't understand how y'all let that happen in New York. I couldn't see where you're going to vote that you could just walk up and ask me what's in my pocket? Fuck out of here. I mean, that's because after a while when you keep getting your ass whooped, it's like, fuck it, I'm going to just comply. It's just facts. I watched my brother get ran through a lot. Like, I'm literally picking me up from school. Police picking him up. Like, yo, and he had to push me off to his homegirl. That's how I was cool with all his friends because every time he get locked up, he'd take my sister home, man. Just take it's going to happen. Right, it's going to happen, yeah. I can feel it in the air. So after a while, you just comply with the bullshit, and that's and, what, and we're that, not making light of this. We know that some people, this is an everyday. Yeah, sometimes I hope I, I get home kind of shit. Yeah, you know. uh, One of the comics, Delay, he told me when he first moved here that the police pulled him out of the car and kicked his ass, and the police and he was like, "Wait, but and they literally kicked his ass, put him back in the car, and the police said, "Welcome to L.A." because you know he's from Vegas, and they told him, "Welcome to L.A." He was like, "What have I done wrong?" Did it? But they whooped his ass and put him back in the car and told him, "Welcome wow. to L.A." He has a very nice Lexus, but. But I, I think like when the Rodney King thing happened, we I, I've been here all my life. That's a regular thing. If you run from the cops, they beat your ass. We always knew that. Just don't get caught. 
Yeah, that's, that's just, just that's what we knew. So when we saw it and then the world saw it and, and you see white people go, oh, my God, that cannot be happening. Motherfucker, that's, that shit on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Y'all just didn't have no cameras. Mm-hmm. That's why I would, my man caught so much blues on that shit for filming it. He, you all don't understand. His life was fucked up because he the filmed dude who it. filmed it? Yeah, yeah, the white dude. The white dude filmed that. Oh, wow. His yeah. shit was all fucked up. But... What do you mean, fucked up? What happened after? Oh, he they went definitely. through his whole life, and then they find out, you know, you got warrants, motherfucker, and you out ah. here. Yeah, they, so next time, you want, I mean, people do it now because everybody got phones, but they were hoping that would be a deterrent from someone else because that's why they said, well, we don't know what happened before the camera turned on because that's all you could oh, hang yeah, your yeah, hat yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That he kicked everybody ass before the camera came on, and then also the camera came on, y'all see us whooping his ass. Right, right. So that's exactly what they're that, trying to And that's, what you, that's the only way you can make that work because otherwise you look at it, and you telling me I'm not supposed to believe what I see? I see y'all whooping his ass. Well, who you yeah. gonna believe, me or your the own lion eyes? eyes. <laughs> you ever see the movie Snake Eyes with uh, um, um, what's her ass name? Jeez. Jeez. story. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage, yeah. And it said what Gary Sinise was saying, like you know, if you go do the right thing, you're gonna be famous, and you got a lot of dirt on you. It's just gonna fuck your old shit up. Mm-hmm. And he went and did the right thing, and it did exactly just like that. That's it why when they call whistleblowing. Which yeah. I think is the weirdest shit in the world. If I tell you something's wrong with this company, you blowing the whistle. Yeah, blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Not, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It just it's just the result that comes after it. Yeah, and then they go, well, now you didn't fucked up lives for everyone else, and people are gonna lose their jobs and this yeah. and the other. So we gonna fuck it up for you. You ain't gonna be able to work no more. Yeah, fuck you. All right, that's society because we sometimes we like to vent here on Foxhole. And, yeah. yeah. It's, hey, it's the I'm pretty money. sure half of our followers and got pulled over on some yeah. bullshit. Somebody pulled yeah, over exactly. right now. Yeah. <laughs> telling them, listen to them. I'm nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Craig, whatever you was going to do, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, man. I really want you to realize. Yeah. I really want to put you on. That's still off the list. I've been searching for someone to satisfy my every Is that off our list? need. The, the Would you be huh? my inspiration? Feel the real love that I need. Be healed, put it down. Pretty good. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Sound great. Thanks. It's uh, Fox Hole Radio. We done on Series XM ninety six rollout show. How long? We're at the end, baby. Yes, four hours is. went by so fast. I told you it was the fastest four hours and funniest four hours of your life. But now Appreciate you hanging out like with us. It's like a bunch of f's. <laughs> Go ahead, though. Hi, Mark Howard. No joke. Facebook. Comedian Mark Howard on Twitter, and uh, I make you laugh one on Instagram and Flippagram. You can catch me on Instagram at It's Lourdes Gonzalez. Catch me on Facebook at It's Lourdes Gonzalez. Twitter, Lulu Gonzalez. And April 9th at uh, Flappers in Burbank. I will be there 8 o'clock, the main room. Maybe. Don't forget to check all of us out on speedyandfriends.net. That's speedy, the letter N, friends.net, where we have a live message board. You can also get your T-shirts and make sure you take them in them and post them. And check out all the deals and places that we will be, like Palm Springs and Black Bike Week. For me, you can go to kenishabus.com, and you can find all my social media there, which is Kenesha is Comedy. And please, I do have to have a second surgery, so I have started a GoFundMe account. Uh, it was cool to get through the first one, but the second one, I need some assistance yeah. and a Special super shout out to Gerald Lacey for a very huge contribution. I am very, very thankful. Cameron, Greg, Cornelius, Kathy, and Anthony, thank you. So go check me out. That's KenishaBus.com and click the GoFundMe button. It's always in your ear on Twitter and are always on Instagram. Throw your uh, Sing your throwback list over to alwaysr9 at gmail.com. Um, it's A-L-W-A-Y-Z-R, the number nine at gmail.com. Yo! It's Speedy is funny on everything. Speedy IZ funny on everything. On uh, Facebook is Comedian Speedy. Also, too, uh, make sure you you definitely go to our website because there's all kind of great stuff on there. Photographer, go do your thing, man. Cool guy up you on Instagram and cpernell 45 on Twitter. Also, too, shout out again. She bought us lunch, which is a beautiful thing. That's good. Uh, Lynn over at Cinnamon Hot Plate. If you wanted to get some food, have her deliver some food to you. It's going to cost you, though. You don't get no free shit. Uh, hit her at 213-235-7152. And her name is Lynn. She will deliver wherever you are. She not only does soul food, she does Mexican food, which is what we have, and it's on fire. So definitely yeah. hit her up. And we drew, truly appreciate you coming through. We appreciate all our guests, Willie Barcena. And if you, you and if you miss uh, today's show and you want to catch the show, you can go to www.seriousxm.com backslash on demand. Yeah, on demand. and shout out again to uh, Second to None. 
Make sure you go get their album. Yes. Like I said, all that information will be on our Yes, site. and don't forget April 9th, Second to None and Too Short will be in concert downtown Santa Ana. So go to second uh, to none.cpt.com and go ahead and get those tickets. Only $15. That's pretty good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's have some fun, y'all. Yeah. yeah. But not for long. You might be uh-huh. with another show. But I still see that you want to listen to a nigga like me. And friends. Never need what? no one else. Really? Because I know you know you I'm know. fucking with the rollout show. Oh. Yeah. You might be. One more time. What? what? With another show. Why? But I still see that you want to listen to a nigga like me. And, and friends. friends. Never need no one else. Oh, yeah. Cause I know you know, you know. I'm fucking with the rollout show. All right. Yeah. It won't be mine. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's someone else's. Do your solo. But not for long. I Say can't it. speak. But not for long. Here you go. You might be what? with someone else. But I still see that you wanna be with a nigga like Speed. Oh, never need no one else. Cause I know you know I'm gonna be, be like, like I told you so Woo. Just believe that here in the studio I'm singing with Trey So No you're not it's not gonna happen Never Come on Trey please Mm-mm. But not for long That's what you're gonna tell me He's gonna say never <laughs> Not, not <laughs> for long <laughs> Go ahead Don't forget you guys Stay tuned next Foxhole Thursday Midday Mix You're gonna be tuned in to not DJ not Danger One Danger But not for long.